Nice. All right, another day of Winston Waves. So, if you have not been here for a Winston Waves run, exclamation WW will get you an idea of what the storyteller does. If you are watching this on VOD at a later date and you haven't seen any of the episodes, uh, if you're on YouTube, I always put the link to the to the series in the description and in the pinned comment. If you're watching a VOD on Twitch, you might have to go back a few days, but they only save them for 60 days. So we're trying Winston Waves. We got a new, oh, I didn't update my record. Christ. Anyway, uh, Winston still works as well. Yeah, if you want to go that route. We did make it to a new record yesterday of 40 waves in 95 days. Uh, and then we got obliterated. It was absolutely insane. We got a mech breach raid uh, of 22,000 raid points, which normally max raid points in the game is 10,000. So almost two and a half times the size of a normal 500% in-game max raid point breach. And not it had almost 100 mechs and 40 of those mechs were centipedes. We, we just got annihilated. So we're gonna try a mountain base, uh, but I actually do wanna go back and I want to try another open map because I have a new idea for an open map. It's going bear, kith, stomp box, drunken gamer, hot seeker, welcome in. So we did get a delay. So we did have a delay, which is really nice. So the next raid uh, is gonna be two and a half days instead of like the next day. So we really need to get as many bodies as possible. We'll be able to do this uh, after the next one or two. The first day of stream, it's going well, yeah. First day of stream is going pretty well. I'm pretty uh, pretty proud of the numbers for the first day. Let's go to Ibex, Jake, welcome back. Um, so we did make a bunch of chain shotguns. I think I'm going to use a chain shotgun tunnel, which I haven't done in a long time. And we'll go from there. It never ends, it just keeps increasing, yeah. So it, it's literally try to survive as long as possible. All right, um, so I'm going to build this. Let's move the donkey uh, over here. Who is on our donkey business? Donkey business. Odin, okay, Odin. Okay. Let's go ahead and move them. All right. Gonna remove um, some of that zone area up here. Okay. That made. How are we doing on wood anyway? We don't have, uh, it's not too bad. So we really need bodies. We also are, um, we just got electricity. Uh, we're working on getting a Molotov and an EMP. So we got some cloth that will be coming in at some point. Let's see here, let me make sure I don't uh, build a roof over this one. I'm screwing around with this stuff out here. Bye bye, why? Why did you build yourself on that side of the ro road? What is a chain shotgun tunnel or how does that work? So basically the chain shotgun tunnel utilizes the close range power of the chain shotgun to kill enemies as soon as they come through an opening um, and having melee blockers lock those enemies in place if they do make it um, to where they could shoot. So that's, that's the basics behind it. Uh, I haven't made one in a really long time actually. So this should be uh, pretty interesting. What mod is gas operation? Uh, I don't have any mod for anything like that. I don't know. Are you talking about the research? Gas operation is the name of the research for sh chain shotguns, heavy SMG, and LMG. So it's it's not actually anything to do with gas in that sort of way. So let's go and void. No, no mod required. Base game research. Uh, Haze, all right. Zidian, Pickles, welcome in. Uh, this is a new run, so we're only on day 27. 27. Your new run, Trader came by with the charge type rifle. Tribe killed that trader. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the days when charge lances were OP. Those were the days. They've nerfed charge lances so much. In alpha, the charge uh, lance originally, like its very first implementation, was like 68 tiles or some ridiculousness. How far do I expect to get this run? I don't know. We're testing out mountain map, so it's going to have its own challenges. In fact, Winston. So the annoying, one of the annoying things yesterday is, or was, that, um, 
I had been trying to get... I had been trying to get um, an infestation on our other run. Like, really, really hard trying to get it. I kept making places for bugs to spawn that would attack raiders. We were trying our best to get an infestation, right? I did all the things you need to do to get one, and we just didn't get one. So we were like, well, maybe... Maybe Winston Waves just doesn't have many infestations, which really seems like the case, right? Then we make this mountain map, and on, like, day five, we get an infestation. <laughs> so. Uh, Jut, they were the 10 months. Double digits already. Three episodes left of the two-year run. That's a long run. That's the longest run I've ever done. Catch up on Igor and good guys also. Thank you, Judd. Much appreciated. Let's go invest. Welcome in. Blue Earth, welcome in. Yeah, but I don't know how long we'll, uh, we'll make it. You know what, Mule? We shouldn't do it this way, but... What if I killed him? <laughs> it's alright. Uh. <laughs> Trump Festival has a percent chance of that someone wanders in join you. Oh yeah, so when you make your ideology, you can choose the rewards from your festivals. You can add up to six festivals, and you can choose the reward. It can be a 50% chance of someone joining, it can be uh, goodwill with a neighbor, side focus gain, finding an ancient uh, structure on the map. Uh, depending on your, in some of the ideologies, some memes have different ones too. Like if you are the animal, uh, the animal type ones or the ranchers, you can have one where uh, farm animals just randomly join. There's there's lots of them. So. Other than the storyteller, no mods. Not, not really. You can go to Exhalation Mods, but I basically generally just use um, No Pause for the most part and P Music. So generally not uh, not very many mods at all. So. Do I still use Blueprints? No, that's not up to date. Yeah, I need to update that one too. I haven't used Blueprints since the cheese run, actually, so that's pretty old. It made uh, some of the placing down things for cheese much easier in that run. Okay, we're working on our bug trap down there. 1.2 days. We're just going to throw up as much as we can in the meantime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, one reason why I stopped using mini mods a few years ago was so that um, people that were new to the game, especially, uh, that were coming in, because we were getting a lot of newer players who players of the game so there's two main reasons one was those people coming in and i wanted to show them basically what you can get in the vanilla game in case they want to get the game uh or whatever right the other thing other reason why is because i didn't want it to not necessarily invalidate but like it, i didn't want in the back of my head for it to be like all right could i have done that same challenge if i had if i didn't have x y or z mod you know what i mean so Really thick front wall. Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to trying to uh, basically make it so we're buying time on these early waves. So we were not 19 years into play through an almost nice number of pawns. Yeah, I guess really laggy. Yeah, it was really weird. After I did the 20 year, the the 500% uh, no pause 20 year run. There were literally people being like, well, yeah, but you couldn't have defended all that stuff if you didn't have defensive positions. And I was like, well, by God, I'm going to do a run with no mods other than no pause. And I, I did that. That was like his Sander run right after that. And I did it. <laughs> so, but not just, not just to, for those people, also for myself, you know. You can also make the game much harder with mods. It's very true. Hence Winston Waves here. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, a lot of new players always trickle into the game, so it's kind of nice to be able to show them, you know, hey, yeah, this is all stuff you can get just in the base game. Uh, we're overcooking food. I thought we'd have more people by now. Oh, well. It's time to load the game up, too. Yeah, I remember Rake's uh, mod here was like, he was at 800 and something mods. <laughs> 800 and something mods. So the reason I'm researching this uh, lower stuff for anyone that's wondering, like, why are you getting that stuff? One of the rewards from the waves can be uh, research being completed, and it and it finishes research that you have access to that you haven't done yet. So I'm trying to knock out all the, like, cheap ones that we can get very easily, and then that way we can use um, uh, that reward to get, get things that would take longer. So 
Are bugs on? Yes, I literally only turned bugs off one time in like 3,500 hours of playing. I had one, one run over a year ago where I disabled it. bugs. That's it. <laughs> That's the only run ever. In fact, um, there was an infestation on this on like day four or something, which is really annoying. Over we're on, go get something to drink while it loads. Yeah. yeah. So say run. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to test out the mountain map. I need to go ahead and start thinking about the uh, shotgun tunnel. It's funny though how that works. Um, where do I want to set it up? I think I'll set it here. Change shotgun tunnel is a good idea, even for breachers. In this setup, you can put north south of your hallway. That's what I was doing, yeah. Longer guns, back to the sniper breacher. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. That's what I was just looking at when I was looking at this. So we'll actually let them move through this. So we can just literally set it right here. I haven't used one in a really long time. Really long time. Chain shotguns are really good ins uh, insects too, speaking of. So I guess I'll actually fill that in. Coming a single person. <laughs> they got reinforcements immediately, that's weird. It's weird. Well, 16. Oh, they actually have some with frag grenades. These guys might make it in. Might have to actually fight. Weirdly, the reinforcements are preparing for a while. So if I remember right, we want our melee guys back one, right? So we want this left there, but we want these like this. I think I'm remembering correctly. These guys might make it through. There's always a mod for that, yeah. There's a thousand different mods I could get for small quality of life things like quality of builder, but I'm not going to. Melee is back too. Wait, so one further than this? If I want them to be going through this way? What's a thick wall? Literally to let them spend time. But unfortunately, one of them has a frag grenade, so. is one further than that. Yeah, with that frag rate, these guys are going to get in. We might be screwed. Yeah, I just couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. I knew there was like a specific um, way to put it. And this is the version where like you want them to go towards this way so you can shoot them as they're coming through there. Yeah, these ones are going to get through. Depending on where this guy attacks. What? The frag grenade guy is just meleeing. All right, well. My last run, uh, yeah, 22,000 point breach, mech breach.
We need uh we need a couple of good melee weapons too. I'll give you a grenade and don't tell you how to use it yet. <laughs> Seems like a risky move he's doing, yeah it does. Attack this wall with a grenade was unclear. <laughs> want to go i'm already i've already had new ideas for a flat map again too that i think are really going to pay off so i almost already want to go back to a flat map but oh yeah the donkey does care he's, he's seen this before he knows what's up he's just sleeping through it he's going to ashton chico moxie jabriel phaeton welcome in. holy strike oh my god he just threw a frag on like half of his friends but it blew up over here there he goes again. <laughs> he learned how to use them, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're not close to starving yet, either. He's just having an, the best nap of his life. It's like I dare Predator to come in here. <laughs> that guy, it's so weird. That guy will be meleeing for a while. And then he's like, you know what? I'm just doing the throw a grenade at my friends. <laughs> and then he stops and he goes back to meleeing a random wall piece. The main group is leaving, so only reinforcements are left. Okay. Keep it down, it's sleeping. <laughs> See ya. Uh, random good reward, fuel drop food. All right. Going for the random. I guess we're hoping for uh, for pawns or something like that. We almost made it through the wall. It's time to go home. Yeah, let's see what we get. Let's see what, why did they leave? They started to starve. Orbital bombardment targeter. All right. That's nice. We got three lancers, three scythers, and a pikeman coming next. Should be all right. We don't have an EMP yet, though. Um. So you make an EMP grenade. Turn that power on. Okay. All right, pump some more of this crap out. Wow, that's steel there. That's annoying. It's kind of good later on. Unknown modifier, yep. Um, that's actually less, right? Hey, hang on. Lancers, Scythers, and Pikemen are worth how much? 200 each? Or something like that? A little less? 150? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the modifier could be. I do behind the bug room just to make it big enough that it's actually more likely. Yeah, that's the biggest part of it. Yep. Go on, Shambler. 
Time has come. Don't you? Yeah, I need to put a command up. I'm sorry you get... I, Twitch is getting really, really, really crazy with the ads, but yeah, um, the Raiders gave up, yes. Sorry about that. It's really friggin' annoying. Don't worry, it makes the stream a little bit square at the top of the chat. So a new subscriber. <laughs> Come, steal yourself. Shambler. We are building an army. Is that what you're talking about, Shambler? Uh, Shambler, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Who'd you get? Will. Agor. Strat. Coco. Pfeiffer. Salke. Mr. A Ashe. Kivo. Hathesk. Jot. Every three minutes, I have to watch 17 ads. Yep. Um, I'm not supposed to advocate ad blockers, but I'll tell you the first thing I installed when I, I had to reinstall some stuff because a uh, drive went out. I had to reinstall the browser I use. And the first thing I got was, uh, I mean, the first thing my friend got, not me. I wouldn't do this. Can't advocate it. First thing I got from the, the app store on, on, on Google was uh, ad blocker for Twitch. Not, I mean, my friend, that's the first thing my friend got. Hey, Shiva. <laughs> Your friend sounds super cool and funny. <laughs> uh, I think so. I, he would appreciate you saying that, I'm sure. I'm sure he would. Steal yourself. We are building an army. <laughs> a dame, very different guy. Minoc, they were the two gifts though. Thank you, Minoc. To Heavy, Risk, and to Mal. Thank you, Minoc. Appreciate it also. As if she was on their way, whoops. He will join us or die. Uh, we need to get that EMP up, so let's disable this for a little bit. We are making it warm. A little warm in there. Not too much, though. Why not? Can you another gift sub to Kuro? Kuro, now you won't get ads here anymore. Thank you, Minoc. Do I get in trouble for not advertising like that? I, I've never advertised. Guys, don't use ad blocks. Don't use ad blocker for Twitch specifically or Piehole. That's P-I-H-O-L-E. I'm just telling you what to avoid, okay? Why would I get in trouble for telling people what things to avoid? If you want a much nicer viewing experience on Twitch, uh, figure something else, else out. Don't get those. Don't get those. Please. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, it does also, you know, it does also block the ads, right? Let's see, Liam. Nyla, welcome back. Lobster, welcome in. I think I'm gonna put that one further back than I usually do, actually. Come think of it. Top room you're building. Kill tunnel. Uh, this, yeah, it's gonna be a chain shotgun tunnel. 
What's the highest wave of this rule set so far? Uh, 40. 40. They could be, we don't know. They could be explode on death. There's no way to know. It looks like all their stats are normal. They're not like 1.5 stats or anything. Hmm. Yeah, the reason I am really enjoying playing this uh, storyteller. So I am going to go back to a more standard 500% no pause late next week to coincide with the console release so that I can uh, uh, show people coming in from buying it on console, a more um, strategies that work in a more normal sort of game. Um, but we're going to keep going with Winston Waves until then. And uh, the thing I like about it is, is just trying to figure out strategies that, that work with this and trying out different maps and di different things like that. World's coming to console, yep, next Thursday. When's, yeah, next Thursday. Uh, that sucks. We're trying to buy some time here. We'll eventually let them in, but this is buying us time to get some extra research and stuff done. Push the wave. What consoles? I know it's going to PS4 and Xbox something or another. I don't, I don't remember all. Age of Empires 2, style by time, yes. Build more walls. I guess they have to cut through a forest. for just today it's right at the end of stream yesterday so it's not too far in i don't know uh who's our main melee damage we don't have any melee weapons yet. We're just going to go ahead and, uh, and test this. Oh, no, we're not ready. We weren't ready. <laughs> no, I...
not quite set up yet. <laughs> Delay next. Wait for seven days. Oh, where were those on the last map, man? And Vin, did you have anything really bad? You almost lost your friggin' leg. That's not not great. All right, seven days, man. Oh man, where were these delays on the last one, man? Okay. So we we got that one. How far up are we going? Eleven. 11 from this. Welcome back. Your steadfast okay. loyalty is greatly appreciated. Well, that'd be nice. Okay. One, two, three open. One, two, three open. Okay. Yeah, I, I really should do that, yeah. I usually do it. If we want to stall somewhere like that, then yeah, we probably should. Um, Chef. 22 months, Chef. That is a long time. Thank you, Chef. Very much appreciated. Much love to the Chef. I say that every time. <laughs> My compliments to the Chef. Never gets old, I'm sure. Here's our new kill box. Have a seat before. Yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty effective one if you get it set up just right. Uh, are you still there, Smurf? Did you ever test uh, uh, with putting um, uh, barricades in the in the cross section? Just preparing your pawns now. Which one? I have a guide specifically on good good pawns to choose for every starting scenario i think uh well you can find it here if you want or on my youtube page i have a direct command i think is it that one no that's not it it's the other one what's the command for it hey there we go that's starter there, there's a link straight to it gotta get that rebuilt yeah no problem and that one, like I said, it goes over uh, each scenario. So like if you're, it, it's a little bit different if you're doing tribal versus, you know, something else, so. Building wall and the corridor to the base be, that's what I did in the early game, there's, there's, one downside to it so a wall we wouldn't be able to cause a collision with just a wall there and so what happens is all the enemies can stack in one tile and all melee the wall at the same time so it breaks really fast that way heat box we'll do that eventually too yeah but we're uh, we're experimenting with some other things in this one yeah next wave 23 tribals with double health Chain shotguns are pretty decent in general against just everything. Uh, let's see. Good accuracy. We had 16% armor pin. They're, they're still very good against, like the amount of damage they pump out, how accurate they are at short range, they, uh, they do surprisingly well, yeah. We'll see. Uh, that is the boss wave buff, yeah. Oh, Baba. Baba, why?
Let's go one more boat. We'll come in. And we'll, we'll see. Like, um, we haven't done this setup in a very, very, very long time. And, uh, especially if we win some waves. Uh, who knows how it's going to play out, but I figured it would be a pretty nice one to test. And after this, we'll probably go back to a flat map that actually has uh, a good anima tree location. Uh, it started at the very end of stream yesterday. Yeah, it hasn't been going too super long. get a bunch of joins from this yeah we got some delays in this one though so we're actually on day 33 which is kind of crazy this is like the second or third delay that's why i'm saying i wish i had gotten these delays on that other playthrough with explode on death some of the waves have explode on death so kind of in fact in the last run we had a i don't remember it was like 180 tribals with explode on death go into uh our burn box and the first one died and it caused a chain reaction all the way down the tunnel killed all of them and blew up the entire maze <laughs> it was pretty uh pretty awesome Sort of a terrifying way. So I don't know if anyone clipped it, but yeah, it, it happened. And it was on the last run, actually. We had to rebuild the whole friggin' thing. All right. Get the EMP done. We did. Okay. We don't have enough to do both sides yet, so we're just gonna do this side to start with. So we need a way to just shut this one. Yeah, it was kind of it kind of sucks because it destroyed our entire burn box. Had to do the whole thing over. Good short, yeah, yeah, I would. I have to find it again. All right, we're gonna start. Um, doing some festivals for some more people here soon. Okay. Keep going. What day was that? Um, it was probably two RimWorld streams ago. Two RimWorld streams ago, I, I think. I don't remember exactly, but all right. Let's see if we get some uh, some people. Come on, new people. Oh, that sucks. Not only do we not get people, we got uh, a mood hit off that. Thank you, Ibex. Pretty social. Well, it was fun, but we didn't get a join, so. Do 
doesn't take cover. Yeah, that's a good point. I think I'll even put a stronger door on that side for now. Oh, uh, did you answer the question? Did you ever try putting uh, barricades in the cross section to see if that helped or, or did it hinder or did you not try? Man, I really was hoping to get more people. Oh, groceries don't die. I can make no promises for this run on, on anything like that. I mean, we won't die for sure. Pumping out those easy researches. Just placing columns. Everywhere you place barricades in the center are mostly neutral. They sort of help, even plastic barricades get annihilated. Gotcha. So I was wondering, yeah. Let's cap on number of pawns. There's no cap. No. You can keep going until the game runs at like less than one frame per second. There's a soft cap. Um, each storyteller tries to get you over time to about 20. You can very easily go way past 20. We've had runs that were approaching 100 colonists. I think on a typical playthrough, especially if you're not min-maxing and stuff, um, the game usually keeps you at around 12 to 18 pawns if you play long enough. But no, no actual cap, no. So we need two good melee weapons. I don't think we have the resources to go trade for them quite yet. I think we might actually fight this group. It's really risky with them having double health. Christ. It actually doesn't impact us. It's fine. It's not a big deal. And that makes it so other off-map problem causers can't happen, so. Man, what's the ways you're throwing everything at us this time? The hard cap is the amount your PC can handle, yeah. So it actually doesn't matter too much because we're under the mountain anyway. So. Doesn't really. Doesn't really impact us. Playing a potato. So you may, may want to stay in that teens or less range. For a long time, for like probably nearly a thousand hours, I probably kept between eight and 12 pawns on almost all my playthroughs. 52 year old quick sleeping cannibal. All right. Let's see if the API is going to play nicely today. Come on, Twitch. That was me. Come on, Twitch. Hey, it worked. On. All right. Not a fantastic pawn, a little old. But what was our shooting? We can get them better at shooting. Okay. Bring them in, bring them in. Feel called out. <laughs> All right. Um, let's make Molotov. I kind of don't want to burn the first few groups on this one so we can get some. Uh, oh, I meant to set up. I, I don't know why I stopped. I know you mentioned it, Swerf. And I was doing this in the, um, in the first couple runs and I just forgot about it with everything going on, you know? But I put uh, Pemmican do forever as the final one after them so capable of caring capable of a lot of things but in this run i don't care if they can if they can shoot people that's all i really care about mostly mostly all i care about 
I guess you'll just get one of these crappy guns for right now. <laughs> Don't you feel called out? <laughs> okay, so we have that initial setup to melee six shooters. I mean, I can even put shooters in the hallway. It's not a big deal. We just need, uh, we need some, and then we can have people repairing back there. Hmm. Was that the one where they all exploded in a row in the kill, uh, in the burn box? I missed most of it because my, my screen wasn't centered on them. You found it? I think I will do a burn area up here. That was from six days ago? Oh, well, yeah, that was two Rimworld streams ago, yeah. How many tiles is it for a roof not to collapse? Um, interior, I think it's 12. I do 11 uh, because I like them to be uneven, so it has a center point for doors, but that's just a personal preference thing. But I think you're good to do 12 by X. But I always do 11 by X interior, 13 by X exterior. All right. Thanks, Ibex. Doesn't need to be too big, honestly. Hmm. The column ghost imprint shows the range for all the walls. Uh, I'll double check. Thank you. It's gone, Calorina. Welcome back, Kin. Thank for the lurk. I mean, I guess we're going to go out. I don't know. Breachers are just going to wreck that if they come from the north. But oh well, I guess. I guess we could fight breachers up there too if we if we get long range stuff, right? Okay. freaking granite this time, huh? That's mainly what we have, I think. Yep. Well, that's gonna be uh, a lot longer to build. Been using sandstone maps for exactly that reason, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. The animatory guide, very important. Thank you, Yek. Thank you for watching that. Yeah, it just came out today, so... Uh, there it is, over at the YouTube. I haven't put it on the website yet. Thanks, Ibex. Yeah, I'll use it. Thank you for finding that.
I don't know if this will be done in time, but I think I'm gonna try to fight these guys. I don't know, the problem is I don't have uh, good melee weapons yet. I really need to probably send a uh, mule off. But uh, we haven't had a reward to really trade for a good melee weapon, so I have to go to the old standby and just freaking get some get some uranium maces or something. Tune in. Uh, how's it going? Uh, Eversore, welcome in. So I, gonna, I put it over a little bit so that it can skirt the edge, but I don't know that we're actually going to grab that. If we do, it'll be later on and I can just redo that section, but... Yeah, I, I don't know that we'll uh, we'll grab it anyway. I think we're probably just gonna stay mostly with that power under the mountain with the chem fuel. But I can always cut this one. I mean, it's it's already long enough, so if it gets to that point, we can just cut one of the one of the uh, straightaways here. First was the wave in the mountain. Yep, yep. First one in the mountain. I'm already wanting to go back to a, whoops, a flat map because I already have some more ideas for a flat map now. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get some more recruitments. It's a health, yeah. It's a 2x health, which I don't know. Without the melee block, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about doing it with what fire we have, but I don't know. All right, Annie. Hi, nudist. 53. All right, welcome in. You can fight. Several months back. Yeah, it's, it's very similar. Yeah, when we were talking about the shotgun tunnel back then. Yeah, it's pretty similar. I already have a mule, yeah. Alasaurus. Um, let's do the other one while we can. Does it feel good to accept everyone? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I'm no, having flashbacks to the good guy run. Good guy run. Fun, but not fun enough, apparently. So after this, I, th I think we're gonna go try another flat map. Really have some uh, some ideas I wanna test on the next one. I wish I had done the last one where we made it to wave 40. Yeah, it's still disabled, yeah. greatly appreciated anyways their total never ends never ends it's basically we're tower defense yeah it gets really crazy what's kind of cool too is if you like this game mode but you don't want it to get as crazy as this gets you can set it however you want i haven't edited the uh the defaults but if you go into the mod settings for it you can actually change all that you can uh give you more time between all the waves you can make it so the raid points don't go all the way to twenty-five thousand. 
You can do a different multiplier so the waves get uh, stronger much more slowly. So if you like this game mode, but you don't want it to be so like oppressive, <laughs> you can change the stuff um, and edit it how you want. You can even turn off modifiers for uh, waves so you don't get any of those crazy waves like I got. But uh, Joshua, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Joshua. That reason the Twitch Prime here. Kind of same as tier one sub. Never told anyone this, but it's true. If you're less masochistic, you can do it that way. That's right. not gonna be ready in time so we might have to rebuild a bunch of this after they're they are gone or we can try fighting them straight up what we have but I'm a little uh anxious about doing that since we don't have uh anything good on our melee blockers yet you know Going Queen V. Doing all right. I'll put me at about 72% today. Doing <laughs> this a little hard, yeah. Change. Did we set up a Molotov to get made? Yeah, we did. Okay. Why do you think an open map might be better? Because I think the only way for us to beat the 25,000 point breach raids is to kite with long range weapons on an open map. And I don't really have a great way to kite on this map, you know, like there's not a lot of open area that I can get good line of sight. So I think that's going to be a part of it. Yeah. If it was regular health. Yeah. Yeah. But double health. I don't know. I don't know. We might actually have this done in time or close to it. Like the smoothing can wait. It's not, uh, in fact, uh, yeah, the smoothing can probably wait. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Too bad I don't have as many builders as on the last one. I thought they were gonna change the execution giving uh, points. Did they end up changing that or do they leave it the same? Someone told me that they were going to change it. Maybe they were saying they should change it. Yeah, this is not going to be done in time. So we're probably just going to let them destroy some of it and rebuild it between the next wave. Kind of sucks, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. It's not ready yet. Animatree, sure if you only have ideology DLC, uh, the animatree is is part of royalty, so no. How many of you are there. Last time I knew there was three of you, B. <laughs> Still three. <laughs> I'm 
four four. She's uh... we're actually close to having this ready too, but it's just not gonna be there yet. It can be ready before the next wave, but this one we're gonna have to sit tight. Oh my god, I'm so sick of Mule and their social fights. What is going on with you? Psychopath, too smart. I'm gonna send Mule on the road after this. Maybe we'll have enough human leather. Start backstories of corporate manager, corporate researcher, and corporate fixer. <laughs> Quest for the company logo. Sounds like an ego maniac, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Man, this thing is going to be really close to being done. Not quite, not quite. That's what really close means. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. 13 hours. Hmm. Close. What's going on, Chase? Welcome in. Man, so close, so close. We'll do this one first. And this one. And this one. Yeah, we're just barely gonna miss it, man. Oh man, man. Oh man, I get really behind on chat during this uh, storyteller. Yep, I really, really do. Going Rod, Flap Jack, Old Bill. There's just so much to do. Let's see where I'm behind on chat. I'll probably miss some stuff. Well, we're just going to let him uh, do whatever. Just going to let him break stuff. That double health, we just... Oh, well. <laughs> we'll fix it next time. This is what it is. A few days, how did the last major one die? Uh, 22,000 point mech breach. It's like 100 mechs and 40 of them were centipedes, <laughs> so. Really crazy. A little rough, a little rough. Here we go. 23. We're going to destroy a lot of that, but... Good though, all things considered. Yeah, yeah, I think I could have done it if I had uh, a little bit more time. I've thought a lot about that loss. So I think next time, if we have that, we'll be all right. Still wait time to talk to you at 500% no pause, Winston. I try. Try seven for 20 run, it was like 17. Yeah, that's true. A lot of those were very early losses too. Oh, wait, 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 what was this? Sappers, oh no, we're gonna have to fight them. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's not what I uh, had in mind, but That could literally end the run.
They have double health, so. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. We need to cause collision out there. We need to get two good melee weapons and we need to cause collision. Oh, the collision is going to screw me. There it goes. Okay, we're good. Shotgun tunnel doing work. Uh, collision. Where do I want to put collision? Probably here. So we're going to make a little spot there. Shotgun grinder working though. He was making the, he was trying to break the open door, which is kind of crazy. Most of it's uh, safer. Yeah, yeah. Peeking also. You know what? That's something we didn't really talk about in the um, in the friendly fire guide. Was the uh, um, if you have to worry about peeking. Peeking might be its own little niche topic. Seven pikemen, five lancer. We can take that in here, no problem. Okay, we finally are gonna have some stuff for. Um, for mule to take, especially after we butcher these guys. Who's our cook? Long. What's nice is we have smooth walls too, so these have 900 HP compared to just making walls. Does she get a scar on her eye? Crap. Sucks. Ever seen a shotgun tunnel before? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, just just imagine that when both sides are full. It it can absolutely rip raids apart. Can you repair smooth walls? You can, yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Another nice thing about being in the mountain, aside from that, is that melee blocks with chain shotguns are one of the best things against insects also. So if we have more infestations, which we're bound to, if they don't spawn in the bug burn room by some chance, by some bad luck, we'll still be able to shred it. Faster than Raiders, the walls of self. Yeah, so having that 900 health is nice. Let's go on Daphne. Galileo, welcome in. Pair with the Sapphire's Cave in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll do that. I might would have forgotten that. That was sucked. Mountain base still intact? Yeah, yeah. Day two of the mountain base. It's doing all right.
Do we want to stall these mechs or kill them? I think we're just going to kill them. House is better than the kill box with one block door. And the door and shotguns behind them. Sometimes there'll be small amounts of fire. That's one thing as well, but... Um, like the fire back from the enemies. Um, but also, the nice thing about this is it's like inherently layered. So in a normal like shotgun box setup, if they break your front line or if they break, you break the wall or vice versa, uh, at that moment or uh, when that happens, they basically close in on all your people, right? So this is inherently layered. So if these people fall, or this wall goes down, they then have to push through the next line. And you have the back doors that you can come and save people, you can bring in reinforcements. Another nice thing is you can actually repair these wall sections here without these guys being in the melee um, uh, lock. So, I mean, it's got a lot of little things about it that I think overall makes it a little bit stronger than just a normal like shotgun box that I've showed before um, against ranged enemies. Against melee enemies, it probably doesn't really matter very much, so. It's going Sin, welcome back. Yeah, probably not gonna matter against uh against melee. Alright, there's orbital bombardment at the same time. It's kind of annoying. It seems like a lot of raids spawn from up there. This is gonna get crushed by breachers at some point, but. Okay, so we have this set up for four melee and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 16 shooters. So, we're good. Um, right now, it's efficient, in, or it's fine until they say that they have boredom yet. We, we're not high enough expectations to need the other uh, types yet, but we will need them eventually, yeah. So after this raid, we need to send Mule out finally. Uh, to trade. Get the burn box set up and get mule out to trade. Oh, you full of paper pushers? That's right. Oh, you were asking if you need both hoop zone and horseshoes? Oh no no, they're the same. Yeah, one is just tribal, one is um, one is crash landed, but they fulfill the same recreation need. So having both a hoop stone, let's say you get horseshoes from like a trader, they're not gonna fulfill separate needs. I misread that. Neff, sorry. Why do you build the same on the other side of the corridor? So you can have two sets of people doing the same thing. Empire neutral friendly, are you gonna ensure that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this time, yeah. Oh my God, we have so many social fights in this stupid colony. Horseshoes and chess, those are two separate recreation types. So yeah, they they will fill, fulfill different needs. So having both of those is nice. Christ, man. This is what happens when you just accept everyone.
Oh crap. EMP, EMP. I forgot to grab the stupid EMP. We have a death. Can't believe I forgot the EMP. Who was it? Allosaurus, yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Allosaurus. Man, that sucks. Having more pawns are the most important things in this run. Yeah, they just got sh one hit through the liver. Yeah, we don't have armor yet, so. So did this not cause collision on all those? We might have to cause collision further out. Allosaurus, yeah, they were, uh, they were one of the crafters that we just got. Yeah, I could have let the traders do it. Searches, right? Well, that's unfortunate. Next one is 19 uh, humanoid ninjas. All right, let's get um, let's get mule out. Well, let's go, mule. the coordinates to make sure no <laughs> that could also be the case yeah it's funny it really could be like i was talking the other day no i didn't check that all right uh Okay, they're on their way out. Um, them. That sucked. Uh, once the other side's done, no, they want friendly fire because of the two tile, or oh, that's part of the reason, yeah. They'll be out of the friendly fire range where the miss ra the miss radius of the chain shotgun is. Why don't I print them hiding behind the wall? Uh, I mean it's it's on the plan eventually, but yeah. That's that's one thing that this was supposed to do. <laughs> like was supposed to make them so they don't have uh or so they have collision. That way only one at a time comes around the corner anyway, but Oh yeah, my bad. I thought I had already done that. Too late now. It's my fault. I uh, forgot to let you go out the normal way, but still, can't blame me for the things I do. Mm. 
plague on Daniel right before we leave. Oh my god. Whatever, donkey. Hopefully you survive. I was down again. Where's it a run when everything goes sideways and all your dudes go nuts? Uh, yeah. Only every time, almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, that's okay. So the whole word priority is you're assigning, why so many at one? Because it goes from left to right. So how it works is it starts on the left and it goes through all the ones from left to right. And then it starts back over and goes through all the twos. So like, even though all of these are all ones, these are not competing. They will still construct something before they go to growing. So this is still the equivalent of having a two and no other twos to the right. So you don't really need to, for most people, you don't even need to go all the way to like three or four unless they're like doing yeah i don't know but yeah that that's that's how it works left to right one left to right two left to right three left to right four in that order we need to get helmets too how much steel do we have X is one, 51 or better, normal or better. Okay. Oh, I didn't get all that turned into um, pemmican in time. Can you get there before the other, before the donkey dies? I don't really want this. <laughs> Eat it. No. I'll eat one later. Why well, is trying to give me dill pickle chips to go with my green tea? That sounds delicious. One regular priority and just go down from there. Yeah, yeah. And that way I can set things like, um, like research on fours, everyone. So if there's like nothing left to do, they can just research some stuff. Pickles, green, tea, green, it makes sense. Uh, that occlusion for the burn tunnel? No, I'm not going to yet. I'm gonna let them stack for this one. Hot dill pickle tea with green chips? No, no, no. <laughs> Cat close to base? Ah, they're they're far over there. Stuff, three for actual jobs and four for any additional jobs. Use shift clicks that everyone into hauling too if you need stuff brought in quickly. And it can work exactly the opposite way too, yeah. There's no necessarily right or wrong way. As long as you know it goes left Welcome to right, back. one to four. Your steadfast loyalty Bread and butter pickles? Yes. Bread and butter pickles are the, the, the best kind. They're actually, my do my daughter loves pickles. It's one of her favorite foods. It's like her second favorite food. Her favorite are the bread and butter pickles. They're also my wife's favorite and mine. Bye, Lish. See you later. J-Mac. J-Mac, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you for the lurk, J-Mac. Very much appreciate it. And Ultra Dan, thank you for the four months. Watch on YouTube to Twitch. It's like you're a time traveler. <laughs> thank you, Dan. You haven't had a time pickle you don't enjoy? Yeah, me either, really. Bread and butter with me, and they're so good. Grey pulled pork, yeah, they're really nice. Really nice, they're so good on sandwiches.
you know, like many, many, many millions of people eat them, right? There's a, there's a reason why there's like 10 different brands of bread and butter pickles at the grocery store. They keep stocked. It's not like a one-off thing. It's not like Rakes who's eating nacho cheese melted onto his vanilla ice cream. Now that's, that's lizard behavior. Not just anything you don't like. <laughs> My Molotov is at the burn tunnel. Looks like it is to me. Looks like it is to me. We're talking about Rake's food. <laughs> Why don't I summon early? Because I want as much time to get things done as possible. If I summon early, the next wave is going to come a little bit faster every time, and we get further and further behind. All right, let's check out the burn tunnel, see if we got it correctly set up for this one. Yeah, and corn and cheese ice cream. Where is it that far off? I've seen that, yeah. I already set the shelf. The shelf is set for wood. This is a wood shelf, not a Molotov shelf, and I already set it up. Oh, we can cause collision just with that door. Here, I'll show you. Well, that's blocking the way. We will eventually. You don't need to shut the doors, no. I don't... I've made a burn box or two in my day. Trust me, this is going to work. <laughs> Those are on there. That's just because of what they placed there as soon as they were done. The doors? I don't know what you want me to do with the doors. They're fine. <laughs> oh, no, the doors. <laughs> no, you're good. Ah, <laughs> uh, crappy rewards. We get the tornado generator. Um, or we get something to trade. A random caravan arrives. That's kind of interesting. No, you're good. No. Tornado generator. I mean, could it could save us? No, I haven't been shutting the doors on burn tunnels for like I don't even know, like like eight months now or something. Tornado generator. I mean, it could take out a siege or a mech cluster, but those don't really matter to us very much in this run because, well, I mean. A mech cluster with like an EMI or something we'd have to go get, take care of. Fuel drop. Um, that just means we have to make less chem fuel, which is kind of nice. You know what another good thing about this is? Is people can just steal stuff from the beginning. You try burn channel on your new run. They're very, very strong. Sleep schedule, extension BI. Always pick tornado. No, they can come back to bite me. I'm not going to do it. What is next? 71 tribals are next. But no, it, it gets, I make it so it gets so hot that you don't need to shut the doors anymore. Tomato generator. <laughs> I don't like buttermilk. No, I don't like buttermilk. Buttermilk was a, uh, I mean, as an ingredient for certain things, sure, whatever. But uh, buttermilk was a big thing where I grew up, uh, especially with older people, right? So I can remember my grandmother, one of my great grandmothers, who would make cornbread. And then she would get a uh, a cup of buttermilk and she would dip cornbread into it. She's like 88 years old. It's like, you know what? You're 88. Eat whatever you want. Literally. Your grandmother likes to drink it. Yeah, it's like an old person thing. All right, what do we got here? We got any low shields? Nope. We got any uh, pulsers? We got a soothe pulser. Okay. Uh, what kind of helmets we got? Cataphract helmet, nice. What about armor? Uh, let's get rid of that and go for the armor. And then... Grab a couple of advanced components. Back home. 
Thanks, tables and no kibox around. Oh, no. Probably mom drink it straight. Grandma was the same way. She didn't like any other milk. Yeah, that's what I said. Used for cooking quite a bit, yeah. But just drinking it. Dipping your bread in it. Ugh. Left you with all those quotable wisdoms. No, that was my... That's my fake granny. That's a different person. Super gross dog, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting um, to take care of Mule's crap, yeah. She get a smelter set up. Man, that thing is still... Oh, Mule's confused. That works for blowing up mechs, it does not. Nope. Mechs are immune to temperature damage. Donkey's dead. Donkey's dead. I should have been faster about bringing Mule back, but I was distracted. Downside is, we might not have the weight capacity on Mule to carry all that back. We didn't get a whole lot. I can put the armor on him, for instance, but. And the reason why I'm not putting the Molotov out here, there is a reason too. I know people were talking about it. It's because I'm gonna need the Molotov inside for bugs as well, so. Could eventually have two and just, you know, put whichever one I need. Or uh, have one at each spot. Donkey death is unacceptable. heating inside the base a little bit but we're not quite there yet and as long as i leave this open it will a lot of the temperature will will dissipate a mule and a donkey i know it happens quite often see the donkey is dead and this is too heavy yep all right way too long we can move the recon over to him at least so it's really unfortunate the other option is i could uh send someone to him the donkey's taking up a lot of it oh okay the donkey was enough yeah i didn't think we got anything too heavy yeah we're fine he's trying to carry the dead donkey back Columns so thick. Uh, I think it's totemic style. Totemic. Yeah, totemic style columns. They thick. Why did the donkey die? He got the plague right before they left, so he died of the plague. Okay, we're gonna do just bio-coded here. Okay, let's pause this one. Drop on the floor. So what all are we okay with him? Smelting, axe, breach axe, club, all this stuff. Actually, I'm gonna smelt those two, screw it. No Persona weapons. Uh, let's see. Auto pistol. I don't use bolt action in this. Actually, I'm fine with charge lance too, honestly.
Okay. Uh, smell apparel. Do forever. Tainted only. The floor. Tainted only and don't allow smells. All right, all right, there we go. Stanley Life for Donkey 84 kilos. Yeah, uh, weight is really weird in, in Rimworld. Like a squirrel weighs uh, like 40 pounds, right? Squirrels like 40 pounds, uh, which is un unbelievable. And then you get huge things that are, are way less than normal. So, Hick, welcome in. Can we say hey? Hey. Yeah, yeah, squirrels. Uh, if I remember right, squirrels were like 18 to 22 kilos, yeah. Is the story apparel on the smelter? Yes. I usually have both, but yeah. Alright. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Oh, Mule is in a daze. Man, I should not. Mule has, like, Alzheimer's and all this other crap. I should probably not be using it as a mule. There are alien squirrels. Yep. We use them both for 1,300 hours. Previous run got murdered. It did, yeah. It did. I hit Baby the Risa. Four months. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Pink. Six hours while I'm out here a little early. Yeah. A little early. 71 tribals already. Yeah, like thrombos. Yeah, they're they're lighter. Like the big animals are lighter than you would think they should be, and then um, small animals are the opposite. So, <laughs> lead stuffed squirrels. Yeah. Time Ely, good for us. Interrupting my favorite P music song, you jerks. Stupid raids. Don't think you'd have a good chance. I know I saw a uh, post. I didn't reply to it because why would I? But I saw a post. Um, I think it was a uh, negative Steam review, actually. So I think I was looking at stuff for like console or whatever. And somehow I found a negative Steam review. And the person was like, how does a squirrel manage to reach the eyes of my colonists and claw them out? It's so stupid. It's not realistic. And it was like a thumbs down. And I was like, they're 40 pound alien squirrels. <laughs> I think it could reach. I think it could get rid of an eye or two. Someone didn't watch the Princess Bride. Oh no. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I built a new door and I forgot to hold that one open. It's fine. I realized in time. Well, that was almost a problem. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. A normal squirrel would, would get up there, too. I remember when a long time ago when we were visiting um, one of my wife's friends in Colorado. A long time ago, when we still lived in uh, Arizona. I don't know why I need all this backstory. But anyway, we went to Golden, Colorado, and on one of the really pretty like walking paths next to um, the, the the stream there, uh, there was a, there was a uh, person with a tame squirrel, and the squirrel would run up and like jump on their hand and and cr very quickly like go up their clothing and stuff. Why are they attacking the walls to go in the maze? Because I didn't leave a path open to a target. I accidentally left that door closed when I rebuilt it. Uh, you can check out exactly why with pathing. I did it to advertise my own pathing guide. There it is. Inconceivable. So 
story, but without the monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think about that. But no, he was feeding them uh, peanuts. He let my, uh, or my wife, uh, um, have one of the, the peanuts to give the squirrel. Playing 4D chess, self promotion. Start randomly attacking your walls instead of going through your totally not a kill tunnel. Have you watched the pathing guide? Were you doing all that stuff? Any close calls today? Um, we had a death today, but not really a close call, I would say. That sucks. <laughs> when the run's over, everything's working as intended, yeah. Five Lancers, our first centipedes. Is this set up for centipedes yet? We're gonna find out. Probably not. Should have been their target. Clear path to your storage room. Um, that doesn't work. So, unfortunately, junk targets are not a guaranteed target. And also junk targets have a limit to how many things can target them at a single time. So a single zonable animal can have an infinite number of raiders uh, target onto it if there's pathing to it. That is not the case for like storage room or something like that. The path to a bedroom? No. No, that doesn't work either. Those are also junk targets. Watch the pathing guide. It's short. That won't work either. No, it won't work 100% of the time, I should say. But yeah, all that's in the pathing guide. Gun rakes. So we're about to see if this works uh, with centipedes or not. Do they not want to burn your crops? Crops are counted as like a junk target too, kind of. No, they, it doesn't impact pathing though. They do all the crap so they actually want them to. Yeah, but if you want to control them, that guide will tell you how. It works. 100% works. Not sure attention span. Well, there's, uh, there's time stamps to go to all the stuff you would want. Yeah, I'm really worried about this next one. I'm actually kind of worried about the next one. We don't have that much firepower yet. Set up a gamble on it. Sure. Don't 4X let you listen to the music. <laughs> All right, we're gonna set up a prediction. Manage prediction. Will we survive the next raid? Yes or no? We got five minutes. Okay, the gamble is up now. If you don't see the pop-up, you can click on channel points down below your chat where it says silver. You can then click yes or no if we're gonna survive the next wa wave. And then you can click on um, the 10 to wager more than 10 points if you want. Every time you vote, I'll survive. I don't. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this one. We we're not quite uh, as ahead as we were last time we had the same uh, same setup. I'm not worried about the Lancers of Pikemen. Four centipedes, uh, especially flame centipedes. Flame centipedes would at, probably wreck us. From there, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, zero silver because your country blocks it. Isn't that stupid? Yeah, it's a fake currency. You can't even 
like redeem it for anything. It's against Twitch rules to even redeem it for like monetary stuff. So it's kind of weird that some countries block. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm telling you about all his food crimes. My family, along with like tens of millions of people, like bread and butter pickles. <laughs> Big pile, yeah, that's one of its weak points, yep. Yeah. I don't know, the meteor storm. We'll see. We did get MPs up. People are voting yes. I know, Yayo playing, Centipede's coming. I would probably vote no on this. Starting with Psychic T, Smoke Leaf, never make Penoxicillin. Penoxicillin is really good, especially in the mid to late game, so I do uh, make it sometimes. Other drugs, there's a lot of really good drugs too, but yeah, I usually don't. I need to start using more drugs, actually. I was talking about that the other day. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Now we could postpone this. I could just let them attack stuff, but uh, they're not going to leave, you know? So. Dr. Shrew. Same reason Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Dr. Shrew. Much appreciated. Counseling is tier one sub, I've been told. Yeah, I'm actually worried about this. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget that YouTube guy, yeah. There's no reason to ever use drugs in RimWorld. If you're using drugs and you're playing wrong. This one's a 325, yeah, bigger than what I usually use. Well. How do you set up uh, the burn box? I, th I have a clip for it. Is it wood? There you go. There's the clip for the burn box. How you... How you set up single wood like that? <gasps> no. Crap. Okay. Which way did the last run die on 40? Way 40. One flame centipede. I think that's going to be our downfall here. Mule with a recon yet. He's actually a really good shot. He's our uh, shooting specialist, so. Bot real angry. I know it's been acting up lately. Did you imagine saw what will come? Yeah, yeah, we lost in wave 40 to the 22,000 raid point breach. Yeah, we have an EMP grenade, but. Uh, it's, this is going to be dicey, to say the least.
Like, first you would like them? Oh no, people like different foods than me. <laughs> yeah, we're not, that's right. I'm a little worried about that, actually. I don't think we have enough firepower over here to really care about that too much. Can you get the dog out of there? No. <laughs> Dog's gonna be tanking some hits too. I came in here a little bit too early. Not gonna get saved from the quest. Alright, here we go. Fire hunters uh, making googly eyes at someone. <laughs> that friendly fire, look at that. Oh my god, I forgot to close this stupid door. Wood. So they don't run straight through, yeah. yeah. I can't read all the messages while I'm doing stuff, but yeah, I did miss it. It ended up not mattering, but could have. Could have mattered. Yeah, for this run, I figured I haven't used it in a long time. The door still be open? It's not. This is the one I closed. All right, here we go. Oh, we got the stone before the flame went off. Got the stone before the flame, we might be alright. GG. Alright. Random good reward, good weapon drop. Let's go with a random good reward. Let's see what we get. Friggin' prosthetics, all right. All right, let me pay out the believers. Shotgun tunnel doing work. Just imagine we get both sides set up. We're gonna absolutely sh shred some stuff. All right, will I survive that raid? The outcome is yes. Okay, next is a 10 centimeter breach raid. Oh no, it's double raid point breach. Oh no. All right, let's set it up again. New prediction is going up. Will we survive the next raid? You have five minutes to wager your points. The gamble is ready for you. Man, it rolled double, it rolled double. Well, 
What do we do? What was the reward? Friggin' prosthetics. <laughs> Wow, the meteor actually destroyed that. Looks like. I don't have any animal holsters, no lances. I have one orbital bombardment, which is what we're going to have to try to use. I have one um, uh, orbital bombardment. That's it. That's it. You can see the odds if you go to it, yeah. Usually uh, gamble based on return. Yeah. We have one orbital bombardment, which we're going to use on this, and uh, we'll see. Let's do a fire solar animal pulse early on, yeah. <laughs> join unfortunately hmm how's it going so far uh it's been all right Take a turn for the worst here in just a second, though. Lose for you, so you get a lot of points. I mean, uh, we might just straight up lose, yeah. Over the environment doesn't even do that much to centipedes. I enjoy his smelt slag enough. They have so much to do, yeah. It's like... It takes a lot of time. We have a bunch of stuff, uh, like prosthetics to trade, but... I don't think we can get anywhere fast enough, especially no mount. If someone's getting capable of violence, right. I don't have any of those this time, yeah. I gave it to the tough pawn. Man, it had to be friggin' breachers, too. Fast walk runs this shit. Other side, ambush the feed, stop cannons from being able to fire. I'm mean, eating. Uh, could work, but I don't have anything for that right now. I have one dog. <laughs> Sweet animation to be very satisfying. Sounds like a tough choice. I do need a Zeus hammer yet. But I mean, this is just double raid points, so. This is almost. This is close to like a max size breach raid in a normal playthrough. See, I'm funny. Yeah. Yeah, we could split them. Royal Tribute Collector, that might help. Not a lot, but they have a Zeus Hammer. I mean, if they take out the, uh, this Hermite, there's a chance. I really hope the Breach comes from over here. Let's see where these guys go. Never did more than 1k, you just did two. Yeah, the pond's not bad at all, no. But, I mean, raids in six hours. I mean, they're 58, which kind of sucks. But they're also dead in less than an hour. Let's go on York. All right, let's see what happens. Man, that's so many right now. I think in the last round we had almost 20 pawns by now. It's part of the part of the reason we did so well, I think.
They're coming from up there, so they are going to hit these guys. Here they come. Uh, I don't think you can vote for both, yeah. I don't think so. I think it tells you you can't. If you try, if you do it, if you click it or whatever. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, no, not really. They wouldn't do much to it anyway. This is absolutely wrecking animals with flame cannons and stuff. At least you got it, it does like basically nothing to centipedes anyway but i was hoping to at least get the termite but it's going a different way than the last ones the last ones went right across that we destroyed the bridge though <laughs> if these guys can take out yeah they're not going to they're not going to take out the uh termite at all Is, that wouldn't kill them anyway. I was just trying to kill the termite, but for some reason it's going way up here. It's very weird. The centipedes is what's really going to get us. And Ordal Bombardment unfortunately does like nothing to centipedes. Why are allies like this? Yeah, that's a good question. Wow, that's so bad. We can't even use our kill setup. Very unfortunate. They went all the way up here. They come down here, they go through this way. I thought the bridge would help us for that because it has another playthroughs, but yeah, they were pretty much screwed. <laughs> We don't even have long range weapons or anything, we're just screwed. Yeah, I, I as soon as I saw the wave, I was pretty sure we were dead, but this makes it you know, in the coffin, I'm pretty sure. How <laughs> with the base digging, they're making it worse. <laughs> They do, but I was trying to lead them this way so they would tunnel th through that. But unfortunately, they didn't take the bridge path this time for some reason. So much. Cows are here for reinforcements. Welcome back. 
Your step we are super dead. <laughs> Double raid points, man. long-range weapons or anything. down <laughs> oh kills in a breakdown And there's uh, all that fuel up there. All right, GG. GG. We're not ready for that. So this one fell at only wave 20, huh? Sorry, guys. It came cool, yeah. <laughs> I saw that run. I was about to run on to it. Well, not as good as last run. Trauma Savant. What do you know? <laughs> I mean, we actually held out so decently, but yeah, bre big breach raids are going to be the problem. So we got to go back to doing the kiting, the AR kiting. So did we try? <laughs> yeah, there's, even if the bombardment hit, we're just going to do nothing to this. So. There's two. All right. <laughs> Never give them again. I thought as soon as I saw it, we were dead. That's the weakness of the chain shotgun tunnel, basically. Um, I'm probably gonna alternate between mountain bases and not now, just to make it keep it fresh. I should have gambled better. All right, let me pay people out, and we'll get started with uh, run number eight. So no new record. Last thing I can take them all. <laughs> all right, will I survive that one? The answer is no. It was pretty split too. Double raid points. We were not ready for that at all. Not ready for that at all. All right. Um, on the first one, did we have a flat map where the animatry was pretty, pretty close to the middle? Robbie Blind. How long until the first cheese run? I'll probably do cheese on number ten. There's a man in black. It's not over. All right, man in black. We're gonna. You're gonna take him. There's cover Don't right here. Sure this is I mean, the base is superheated, so he's probably just gonna catch fire. But he might have this. He does have his revolver. 
All right, he did not have it. Sends two ways at the back instead of making, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. The double one is, uh, is really rough. All right. He can never mind. Just need to win the battle, yeah, even if we lost the war. Um, I'm trying to remember the first map. I'm trying to remember the first map. Do you guys remember if that was the one? We had a flat map early on with a good animatory location. Let me double check. Disable player health in dev mode and... And the beta black can do it. That's right. That's right. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. What was the first? Uh, we can check really quick. What was the first Winston run? I feel like we had a good one. Was this one? That was the jungle one. Run right one, two, or three. Yeah, it was one of the first ones that we had a good animo tree, and we haven't tried doing more sidecast in a while. Can never be too hot for Max, no, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna check really quick. I'm not gonna take too long. Uh, let's see. That one, our first one, didn't have a great animo tree. Oh, wait, it's right there. That's the jungle one, though. That's a jungle one. Where was run two? We lost run one pretty quickly, I think. So animatree on the first jungle map wasn't too bad. Inception. Which one is the real one? Yeah, that one's not bad at all. It's jungle, so building will be a little bit uh, weird, but not a big deal. Hey, look. Death to centipedes. <laughs> Okay, the second one, where was the animatory in this one? Is this where we were like, all right, we don't have enough time to meditate. Let's not have a map with a central animatory. I think I think it was. We need to go deeper. Yeah, this one uh, did not have a close by animatory. All right. So it was our first seed that we used. Let's grab that and try that one again. It's just a good jungle flat map. What seed was that? It was... Am I watching a pre-recorded stream? No. So it's uh, still capital WW, I think, right? Yeah, that's an old seed, yeah. Because we've just been doing... We've been doing so many runs, haven't updated it. Come on, old... VOD Adam. So it's WW, both capital, okay. Anything else changed? Population to max, all right. Based on a real person? I'm not sure. We've been watching VOD this whole time. Okay. Now, and we chose kind of like a random ish. Okay, it was 325 still. Okay. Pre recorded street. Yeah. I'm commenting over the top of the old. I'm looking for the first C that we used because uh, it was a pretty decent flat map. So. From Space Boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> With the cassette or the uh, VHS tapes that they have. Mm -hmm. A fully enclosed map map? No, I need kiting room. I need kiting room. Alright, so it was 325. And it was near... Come on. Does Twitch have a, like, go forward five seconds thing like YouTube does? Is that it? Okay, that might be it. Let me type it. It was 15.96 north and 10.49 east. Oh yeah, the alliteration, yeah. He did name one after himself though, like o Oscar Obnoxious. Is that where we went with or did I move it? Yeah, that's where he went with. Okay. Marvel, Sandstone, Lionstone. All right. 
We'll do that one. Now that we've learned him a little bit, we'll do that one. Whoops. Start telling into your base. They're breachers. They're breachers, and unfortunately, so oftentimes breach raids. Um, well, what they're trying to do is they're trying to dig their way from where they spawn into a uh, assigned sleeping spot or bed. And so, Eric, he's a 10 seconds on Twitch. Thank you. Um, but you can sometimes lead uh, with water. You can lead breachers where you want a little bit by putting bridges there because it's faster move and they'll, they'll try to avoid the water. But apparently there was a very thin part of water to the north, like, uh, west area. And so instead of going through the long bridge, they went up and around that little, um, that little water crossing and therefore they were coming down at the base in a different direction so that sucks um let me use the restroom and then we'll get started on a brand new run brand new run see how the rng gods treat the beginning of this one the biggest thing is getting early colonists so i think i'm gonna go with industrious again all right i'll be right back and we'll get started flanders <laughs> flanders thank you for the resub but you're all that too thank you flanders They changed path after it was destroyed. No, they were already, I, I don't know. I think they were heading that way, but uh, maybe it's, it's hard to know. But I think it was it was pretty long of a way over there anyway, and that top barely touched water. So I think they were probably going to go up there regardless, but yeah, I don't know. All right, here we go. What, you, there's on sides. But yeah, the, I guess the downside would be the, um, the, the, uh, like when a breach raid spawns from that side from the storyteller, they'd be right on our walls already, but huge fertile land. So yeah, yeah. Uh, if you haven't already, throw it in the discord. I'll look at it. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually also compiling like a list of, uh, of really good scenes that we found and I'll probably put a video out that just shows them. All right, before we get started with this, Mon Wife is summon Granny. Ah, oh, Granny, what do you have to say about this run? What should we keep in mind to make run number eight surpass the 40 mark that we, we have hit? These chickens are so slippery. It's hard to get a hold of them. Yep. All right, let's go. Uh, thanks, Mon Wife. Industrious, all right. We're doing the industrious start. We're doing uh, Winston Waves, um, no pause, commitment mode. Losing is fun, bumped to 500%. Everything else is default. It's hard to grab chickens when they're greased up. That's right. Well lubricated chickens are hard to hold on to. Okay, it was capital WW set to crowded. No, 
don't know what was going on there. 325. Uh, where was it? It was down here-ish? Wait, are those guys... They weren't there. 1596, 10.49. How, how come it does that sometimes? Hang on. You have to use a net to catch your yard birds. I, that was not there. This is the exact seed. What? Yeah, they were just, they were like barely over. That's so weird. Boy, the game's really uh, having trouble creating this. Uh... Okay, we could do this, but then we don't have any super close neighbors to trade with. That's so weird. How do we die? We got a double, um, a double raid point. What? <laughs> now it's different again. You can re-roll? So wait, villages are not seeded based on that. That's weird. I swear we've, we've used seeded villages. Has that changed recently? Yeah, 2x point breach. Here, that's good. Right there, right there is good. We got lots of trade people nearby. So odd. All right, good enough. I wonder when that was uh that was changed. So odd. You can reroll the settlements, yeah. Okay. Um, where was it? Fifteen nine six ten point four nine. Okay. Three twenty five. All right. Uh, no, this one we're gonna do an open one again, and then we'll we'll probably go back and forth and keep it interesting. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Right. Yeah, I don't care about the tribals. Uh, we are still going to go with the same one we've been going with. I'm thinking about getting rid of uh, Cannibalism. You set the scaling on the waves? You can, yeah, if you don't want to play it on like, this difficulty or whatever. You can set everything with the waves. How they scale, their maximum points, how often they come, all that. I'm just using the defaults. Mostly at the same place, but other day they might be somewhere else some point save again yeah it's really weird okay so we are going to use random plus if you haven't seen random plus before it is a mod that allow that will roll colonists until you hit what you put in here if it's possible to get them from rolling and that way it stops without rolling past them i'm really bad about trying to like roll let's say i want to roll for like a construction person i'll get in the habit of hitting randomize and i'll roll right by a, a godly builder right so uh this will help for that to not happen we're going to go with um, allow none on incapable health conditions, only the starting condition, uh, relatively young. And we're going to do uh, probably builders again. So, yeah, we're going to run with mainly construction and then see what else we get. Let's try this and see what all we get. We're going to go industrious again. Not nudist, that's for sure. Undergrounder, I mean, it's fine in the long run. It's kind of a pain in the in the early part. I'm going to see if we roll past it. There's so many tribal undergrounders. It's kind of ridiculous. You always random your seeds. That's what I used to do, too. Industrious, steadfast, undergrounder. Uh, I think I'll take them. Steadfast will be good for... Um, that's just nimble kind. Look at that. Very good. Good for a leader. Let's see the generator new islands. There's some interesting seeds out there. Fast walker industrious. Plant destruction, man, I... Just friggin' undergrounders. Industrious tough optimus, look at that. Alright. Sugar happy industrious. Excellent. And I want someone that's good at crafting. Crafting and doctoring would be... Fantastic. So, let's go crafting, like... Seven. We'll see if we can get both of these. How long would that take? 
only 61 rolls for that. Quick Sleeper, Industrious, Optimus, Crafting, Medical. All right. We don't have a cook, really, but whatever. Someone willing to kite 30 centipedes the fast, that's what I'm thinking too, fast walker. Uh, which one of these is the worst? We could try to get construction cooking on one. Like that one. Ooh, industrious nimble jogger. Look at that. Jesus. All right. All right. The odds of us running into the other ones are pretty slim. But uh, just in case, we'll just hit randomize on this. So if we do ever pick them up, they're good to go. Uh, yeah, Sugar Happy is just good all around. Sugar Happy is one of my favorite. How to go? We got a 2x raid point breach raid that came in different way into the mountain than we wanted. Centipedes, basically. Yeah. Can you magically get six more times? I probably do that, yeah, when I'm trying to get one. All right, guys, so let's get names in, and then we're good to go. No researchers. Uh, everyone's a researcher. That'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Tribal start, yes. Dib, you're in. I'm going to put everyone on research, but... Research is going to be a little bit slower getting started on this one, but... Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. Construction is more important at the beginning of this, but... Uh, last time we had a very... Very early uh, siege. So... Gotta make sure we're uh, we're ready for that. Cart, you're in. For this, the API working today. Can you name them something special? Oh, so you can see them very easily from a distance. Yeah, you can do that. Yep. Uh, Coco. One more. What's the command? You can't check anymore because it was it was bogging down the API and then it would make it so that I couldn't um, I couldn't choose names anymore. So I had to. Oh no, Sam! Sam has a very storied past in her run. Okay. Sam the man. Oh no, not Sam. <laughs> he's been in so many runs and he's always been a problem. He was the one in the 20 year run that got sick and he was mad. And he came out of the hospital and went over and like immediately destroyed a mortar and blew him up, blew up, blew his legs off. Same the man. All right. So what do we need to do on the open map? We need to get some initial rice down really quickly uh, before we can switch over to mushrooms. We're going to do barracks in the beginning and then we need to get the double outer wall as fast as possible. Our goal is to get at least the full outer wall done and maybe double by the time the first raid gets here and we need to stall the first raids in order to uh get that done um we also oh crap i didn't check the ideology f to make sure we have the closet one if i back out of this i don't remember actually it's been so long if i back out of this to change ideology it's going to screw this up i'm pretty sure yeah Hopefully with the closet one. If not, I'll have to make a ritual room, which is, I guess, whatever, but... Yeah, it does, I'm pretty sure, and I'll only redo it, so... Crafting, we have a crafter, yet. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we have a good crafter. All right, let's go. You, yeah. You could say it would, like, prepare carefully, but... Choose ideology before choosing map seed. Um, I don't know which one comes first. We could fix it with dev mode. We could, yeah. It, it'll be okay. It might just mean that I need to make another room for um, for the shrine, which is whatever. 
the altar. All right, run rate. Let's do it. Yeah, it's like uh, whatever, a few days before the first wave, and then it starts going every time. God, sweet. You're the healer, and it's your favorite role in MMOs. Nice. Healer and crafter. Watch the CB different. <laughs> like the uh, the settlements were different. Why is it loading so slow? What? All right. Was it him getting over an addiction? Yeah, I knew I knew it was something in the twenty year run like that. All right, equip these. We started out with a donkey again. That's nice. Yorkie and a horse. Look at that. Okay, the animatory was here. Turn on repair. Turn off home zone. Uh, building area. Okay. New guide came out over on the YouTube channel today about the animatory. If you haven't seen that, there's a link. Move roof area from this. Okay, where's the rich soil? Somewhere right there. All right, uh, let's throw down some rice to start with. Okay. So what is that, seven? Seven. Okay. So I'm gonna do this a little bit different than normal here. Uh, there's a unbuildable area there and there. Got geothermal right there. Okay, very nice. Geothermal there. make it easy. Yeah, that actually works. That's fun. So we got our 13. We're going to double that. Eventually. Alright, structure. We're just going to throw down a wooden structure to start with here. zone out here for now. Stop on here for now. Some berries nearby. Okay. For work, firefighting, patient, you know, everyone. We only have one doctor starting out. Basic bed rest. No good handling. Got one cook. All the one on construction. These guys on two, so I can get the plants done. Got two people that can do binding now, which is kind of nice. Two crafters, hauling two, cleaning on a one. Research is a four. Okay. All right. Uh, where's the best place that we can get a double wall early? I guess we can start right here. To there. And then later on, we can uh, move it to encompass the one, two, three, the animate or uh, geothermal over there. Could utilize the rock first. Think we'll do that. Worry about a larger area later on, obviously. Okay. 
Uh, what do we got near here? We got a little bit of steel. Got a lot of silver ore. Quite a bit of steel. And this map has marble and sandstone. Okay. Flat mat. Mountains seem way stronger. I'm going to go back and forth between the two. And I mean, on the flat map, we made it to wave 40. On that other one, we made it to 20. So, no. You know, it's like they generate a world more than once. It causes slowdown the first time load. That's, that's weird, yeah. I wonder why it does that. Furniture. I'll go ahead and get torch down the middle. Table over here. One, two, three. Four, five, screw it, six. Okay. Creation, I'll throw a hoopstone down. All right. It's fine. Is Winston wealth independent? The waves are, yeah. Seems like the other stuff can roll uh, differently, though. All right. Schedule. We'll go to biphasic after we get the main base set up. Actually, do you want to make that bigger kind of kind of soon? We could just go this way with it. Where's the, uh, yeah, let's do a building space. How we die? Uh, 2x breach raid. We could just expand that way. I just won't be able to build in that. So we'll get, like, moisture pump. Then I don't have to worry about screwing with that. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Should make the quality of the barracks be pretty high. That early mood hit or uh, increase, I should say. <laughs> then I also want to put crafting on a four on these guys. Anonymous dispensation. What the? Uh, DFC. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, DFC. $59.27. Help you through some tough times. Cheers to everything. Uh, thank you, DFC. I, as much as I like taking credit for things, you know, um, and I, I appreciate you doing or saying that, and obviously the, the donation, but, um, what, I don't know what you're going through, but you know what? You made it through yourself. You you did it. You did you didn't need me. I'm glad I can distract you some and whatnot. But uh, yeah, DFC. Hey, we're having a, a nice moment. You can't be sneezing. There was this person. They gave me some money, and they told me that I helped them in their life. And you're over there sneezing. For God's sake, bless you. Anyway. Uh, DFC, thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully things are getting better for you either way, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. That streamer just went off on his daughter for a normal bodily function. That's right. I did. How many ways do you think you could do? I don't know. I don't know how it changes with percentage on this, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some, uh, try it with some side casting yet. Some side casting. If we get that far. Welcome back. And I'd do it again. Your steadfast loyalty Keep is greatly so. appreciated. Uh... Get, they were the four ones. Thank you, Gip. And Alf, thank you for the bit. Appreciate it, Alf. Thank you, Gip. 
the idea of C. Sorry you've been going through some stuff. Um, like I said, a lot of people, or some people reach out and let me know that the stream was a nice distraction during some hard hard stuff in life, which is uh, it's pretty pretty awesome to hear. Not that you were going through the stuff, but anyway, I appreciate it. Yeah, these runs, there's it's it's hard to really state just how crazy uh, they are, right? Because they're so compressed. Like, we're hitting almost raid cap at, like, day 40. Like, day 40. Two seasons in the game are almost at raid cap. So it's just, it's a... Uh, it's a really crazy experience, yeah. This thing's good with you now? That's awesome, man. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Doing a speed run, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Oh no, our Yorkie! Oh god, don't hunt our person, please. This map has granite too. It does not. Actually, I'm not gonna worry about those. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have a lot of marble and limestone around. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up defaults here. We're gonna go into their default health and put doctor but no medicine on everything. We're gonna do the same uh, in here. Doctor, no medicine, don't wanna conserve medicine. Don't want them just using it all willy nilly, as no one says. Uh, we're also gonna go into the quest thing here and change reward preferences so that we get monetary rewards. Not that we're really gonna have time to do very many quests, if any, but at least we have that, uh, that option there. When the time comes, if the time comes. Hercules, Hercules, what is, wait. Yeah, it's not Hercules this time. We got Julio, Yuma, and Boots. Your his name is Boots. Don't get used to him. Why, what, what, what could happen to him? Uh, don't, don't get attached to that Yorkie. Paimon, oh no, 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 not Paimon. Yorkie's gonna win that fight with the Cobra, yeah, right. Damn. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. It's their fault for making such great shirts. Also true. Tasty, tasty York. Peppermint, peppermint, patty. Such a powerful bet. Uh, Silence. Silence. They reason Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Silence. Count same as a tier one sub. It's a closely guarded secret that I tell basically no one. Thank you. It's going to Ogre Battle. Welcome back. Sky Guy, welcome in. Uh, anyway, you can see ray points outside of this mod. There, uh, There is a mod that shows it. Uh, I think there's also a developer mode uh, thing you can turn on where you can see raid points, but uh, yeah, not outside of those. There's not like just a base setting or something. Unfortunately. Okay, zone. We're going to go ahead and put the home zone here. Get it done. Get it done. Yes, I'm aware. I'm not putting any doors on yet. Yet. There it is. 
Uh, let's put the bullet. I'll put the Glocks outside now. No, no, no. Glock. Sorry. <laughs> Marka. Uh, steel. And uranium. Tab calls your name this run. If you get pulled from the queue, yeah. And spend your uh, channel points on some lottery tickets for the for the naming if you want. All right. We do need to make a uh, moral guide so we can get our mood up sometime soon. See, he ate human meats. I'm not sure. He came pre full of human meats. Our pemmican was human meats. We came with a uh, human pemmican. That's interesting. That's the ideology. Uh, Campbell's ideology comes with human pemmican already. Nice. Just did, yeah, so if it gets pulled, yeah. It's a complete accident. Could phase through walls. That was pretty neat. Phase through walls. Three days, get the outer wall done. Really wish that friggin' cobra would get out of here. Pe McHuman? Humican? <laughs> humican, yeah. Definitely humican. It's going wizard. Okay, we are going to go ahead and uh, claim. Everything other than the ancient dangers. Ah, oh, I remember this map. Welcome back. Your uh, there is a greatly appreciated ancient danger right below the base that has um, mechs in it. Oh, I remember that. Look at all this crap on the map. That's very nice for us. Last map had basically nothing because we had so much mountain. Emerald Dragon, 14 months, man. Thank you, Emerald Dragon. It feels longer, in a good way. It feels like you've been here forever. I guess 14 months is a long time, though. Thank you. Much love to Emerald Dragon, as always. Slightly impressive. Ah, uh, we'll worry about getting that up after all this is done. What does the claiming do? In this one, what it's going to do is it's going to mean raiders see that that is, is ours, and they're going to go try to attack it. All right. Which, in turn, will buy us some time inside walls. Because these first few waves, we want them to last uh, as long as we can possibly get them to last, basically. Work. Some waves. Yep. How's it going, Elmer? What mod do you use for the speed? Uh, I use No Pause mod, which adds 4x speed. There are other mods for speed specifically if you don't want to have No Pause or worry about No Pause. And there's also. Um, uh, you can turn on developer mode. Developer mode will allow you to do it as well. Visitors. Let's see which of these um, altars we got here. Room impression of 60. That sucks. That sucks. Oh well. We'll make a little one. We lost that one yet. 2x, um, 2x rate point breach. Meg breach. Easy speed up is one that has the 4x added as well. You have to alter the animatry room. No, it needs to be all floored. If I floor the entire animatry room, the grass won't grow there. I wonder if it would grow outside the door. 
Also, I can't floor where the animatry is, you know, so probably not. Off Lord 60 compressedness kind of sucks. That's the thing I was um, earlier when I was like, I forgot to change something. That was the thing I forgot to change. So it just means we'll have to have an extra room. It sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, well. All right. We will have the outer wall done in time, which is nice. Uh, then we need to start getting our mushrooms going because these people don't like rice. Also, I need to get some cloth going. It's a little too much, but whatever. And a little, whoops. A little bit of medicine. Okay. And then we need to uh, start coming out some research when this is all done. 1.9 days. Yeah, we should be done the outer wall. Chunks of spacecraft. Nice. And set those that way later on when we have someone um, that we don't care about. Go out and get them. They're already marked, so I don't have to remember. Just set them as unrestricted. All right. The outer wall is basically done. Uh, we don't really have anyone that's good animals, but I don't want to lose out on that horse. The donkey is kind of whatever. I really, really don't care. I just need one. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get our area ready for mushrooms. We'll get our research stuff going. Waves are going to start soon. Okay, get your fungus. Mad monkey, good luck. We're walled in. Horse inside it is, yep. Make a mule, eventually. Mismatched walls, it's better than dying. You're like, no, it isn't. too long. All right, cook, simple meal, do until we have X. Uh, we're gonna go with about 15. Pause until we're at like eight. Okay. Gonna have them use the meat first. Make pemmican do forever. Who is our cook? All right, Sam, knock those out. Colors glue. It came with a name this time. Yuma. They always do. Oh, I wrote it right when you asked. Gotcha. Double point mech breach took us out last time, yeah. Let's go ahead and get uh, schedule set up here. Three, we're gonna go three, four, five for this one. I might have to dial back the meditation to two. Starvation, all right, yeah.
Right. Have I survived? Mech breaches? Yeah, I have. Yeah, just not those massive ones. Yeah. It's the double uh, raid points that really did us in that time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do it like this. Uh, eighteen-ish should be fine. In the long run, we're gonna extend that out later on anyway. So, um, yeah, that's okay. All right, we'll come straight across with them here. Eighteen-ish. I say ish, even though it's exactly eighteen. Just a few of these, I guess. That way we'll have a way out in different directions. Okay. The map and the mountain one died, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna alternate between different maps, but no, I think actually the open map's gonna end up being better overall for this challenge in the long run. We are going to be trying anima linking again though, which I haven't done in a while. Let's impress this event here somewhat. Okay, so one of the things we need to get set up is the altar room. Um, it really sucks that I forgot to get the uh, specific um, um, altar where you don't have to have the 60 impressness, so we can't use the altar closet. So I'm going to have to uh, do something else, unfortunately. But, oh well. So I mod files? No, no, it's fine, yeah. You can let me know. So meditation in previous runs? Because there was no anima tree close enough for, the, for them to meditate at, so they would, no, no one had psi focus, so. No one had psi casting. They're all kind of cutting corners? Yeah, I always do, yeah. There's no reason. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean I'm gonna use the cheeses yet. I will be doing some cheese versions of it for sure, but uh, yeah, you can you can tell me whatever you find because I don't really know about the files very much other than what people tell me. All right, call number eight. Very well might put that down to... Two, I'm gonna cut this one down to two. Might do the other one as well. Transport pod crash, really. Fred Pyro. Welcome face. back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Ah, uh, Stasis, 27 months. Stasis, that's a long time. <laughs> Thank you, Stasis. Very much appreciate it. Glad you are still around. It's going, Donnie. Welcome in. Having to run seven. Uh, we got a double raid point mech breach. It came in the wrong way. So, for the animation on this map, it's, it's pretty close. Um, it's not super close to the middle, but it's not too close to an edge. Yeah. Pretty good location. Not the best anima location that we've ever had, but pretty good as long as a breach doesn't come from the south, which probably will happen eventually, but you know, that's what it is. All pawns get 2x healing bonus. What? 1.5 work speed bonus, 1.5 research bonus? Really? What? It doesn't tell you that. Oh, oh, okay. 
And then the stat increase ones on the pawns, you don't get those. Yeah, I, I figured you didn't, but we never did capture any of them. So it's good to know. Okay, so steadfast uh, Optimus. So Shiko is going to be our moral guide. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why research has been going so crazy fast. Yeah. And plants grow at 1.33. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know any of that with him. That's kind of cool. Uh, Steadfast is our other. No, we have an Optimus too. But they're going to be a construction specialist. So we'll use uh, our Steadfast person. We don't actually need the leader yet. Uh, we. It'll help with the uh, percentage on the rituals. Okay, there we go. Seven hours on the first one. shouldn't queue to all it up we're not in like late game where i have crap loads of people i cancel most of those doors too that's all right that's all right is there a damage difference between wood versus stone traps there is yeah so stone traps take a much uh, much longer to build, but they actually have more damage and more um, uh, armor penetration, so they're just straight up better than than wood. So you can absolutely use them if you don't mind the extra time it takes to use them. All right, it has begun. Start off with the two pirates as normal. And uh, we hope to be able to start doing the... Oh my god, we got really unlucky there. Wow, doesn't that suck? Man. Out of all the stuff we claimed on the map, that guy just happened to choose one. I mean, we have quite a bit of walls, but still, it kind of sucks. Wait, but really, when there's one or two seconds remaining for the small chance at the reward? I mean, we could. It's it's like super tiny, though, like single digit percentages. No rager on round one. No, not for these ones. We can't lose these ones. Like, literally, I can't lose this. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get the rituals going, run all six of those, hopefully get a bunch of joins. Um, and then we need to get the double up. Not a good reward. Medicines, whatever. Cash, I mean, we can... If we get a trader that comes in, obviously we can buy some components and stuff like that. Stone blocks, we have plenty for our two walls, right? Where the craft of that land? I think we're going to take the cash. Destroy the stuff you claim to give more time to build. Yep, yep. Oh, look at that. Very nice. 
Thank you, ship chunks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. $20. I wanted a peanut. Alright. Which table? Butcher. Do forever. Humanoid first. And then everything. Uh, drop on the floor. Drop on the floor. Okay. Build the other ones first. Some Amazon Prime delivery right there. <laughs> Wish Amazon would deliver a thousand dollars to me. The reason I didn't put it outside doors, I don't want them to make that uh, uh, too dirty. Okay. All right. So this should be all ready to go. Then we really need to um, just go ahead and pause these. Suspend them, rather. Then we need to get beds done. Pause first time is that you have to manually click the 4x button. Yeah, I have a um, a mod. It's in the Discord if you want. Someone from the Discord actually edited the no pause mod to add a hotkey to 4x for me. So I complained about it for like three years. <laughs> and they, they heard me complain about it on YouTube and they came to the Discord and were like, Hey, I did this so you don't have to complain about that anymore. Uh, so it is on the Discord if you want to go download it from there. Early seems nice. Yeah, 20 waves, 5%. Yeah, I mean, it tells you also, right? So, like, right now, 29%. So, if we did it, like, an hour before, maybe, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it was really nice of them, yeah. Very carefully doing that. Updated mod. Yeah, I do need to pin it there, yeah. There's one weird thing about it, and it makes it so that there's a Harmony log file on your desktop. And uh, I tagged them to let them know that was going on. Um, I was going to wait to give other people the mod until I knew what the crap was going on with that, but that's probably not a big deal. So if we summon just an hour early, we have that 5% chance. All right. I'll take it. Key logger? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like Lish and Smurf both both looked at it. I don't I don't really know code stuff and told me that it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Why? Why? Of all the places. Alright, so after this group we'll do um we'll do those and we'll we'll actually put a door in one of these areas. So we need to get uh beds research is beds are almost researched. And then we need to get um as many pawns off this. I mean we can't control that. And then our next goal is to get to assault rifles and um and mortars. Hey Jimmy. And burn tunnel. All right, beds. Look at that, look at that. Smithing. Furniture. 
Um, I'm not going to fish for excellent beds right now. We'll do that later. Got to give a sub, yeah. Thanks to Shambler. Giving up. All right, we hope for a pawn or a delay. Thanks, dude. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, we have a lot of steel nearby. This would just save us some mining time, though. Steel will be a premium later. Poor weapons. So the thing is, we could actually get like a poor Zeus hammer, which is would be pretty friggin' awesome, right? But overall, I think we might just take the. Uh, well, if we take the Sue, we could also get some more inspirations. They're pretty happy already. We're about to do rituals. Let's just take the steel to save some time, I guess. All right. So we did not uh, get the the good reward there, but okay. Let's do this. You can find the mod in the Discord. Um, it's in the Rimworld channel. You can either just search for No Pause, or you can search for their name. I think their name is Moondrum. Moondrum, if I remember right. You can also just search for their name to find it. Oh, we got a joint already. All right, there's one. One for two. Oh, no. One for three. I think they're stopping it to go. Oh, that really sucks. They were stopping until I like, go friggin' meditate. Wow. Wow, wow. That really, really sucks. Got a good join, though. Join the waves? Yeah. This is the worst early luck we've had with the the joins. Major brain. Damage. Winoe. Perfect. Wait, are you... They're a killer. Another doctor, perhaps. Another cook later, maybe. Okay. You found it. Thank you. Glad you found it. Damage. G. Man, that really sucks. Quality beds we end up with. Actually pretty decent. Pretty unlucky there. Got two more we can do. tree is at 11 grass. Ambrosia, where's that? Eh, too far away. Any smooth dirt? No, not in the base game. There's mod. A mod for that, of course. There's always a mod, but... Fungus is almost grown, which will help with our mood as well. I think we're gonna stop sewing on that. Man, that sucked. Alright, let's throw out another one. I wonder why they were ending it early. I guess it was uh, someone that was doing it had like a mood issue. Probably should have done it back to back to back like that. Our modest fellowship expands. Anna. Praise the sub. Slowpoke wimp. Well, normally Anna, I would say, oh, you're a frail wimp. Look how slow she is. Jesus.
All right. All hands on deck. Dive. Well, the thing is, she won't die, right? She'll just. She'll just go down. It's a weird thing to say. She'll go down at the drop of a hat. Can she meditate? She can meditate. All right. All right, get that grass growing, Mr. Esso. Okay. Five hours. Probably wait on the other one. Sacra Anna. Arts doesn't need to walk fast. No, that's true. Yeah. Art's not super important this run, though. All right, so we need to get to electricity and mortars. And we also need to, um, we well, need to get to machining as well. Where is the build wall terrain? So we can do a burn area over here very easily. Welcome back. Your steadfast can just be a small one is too. greatly appreciated. I don't need anything too super massive. Just some initial burn area. It's actually probably good enough. Crap. My mouse got stuck or something. That was weird. Jay Liet, 50 months. Is that even real time? I don't even think that's a real number, 50. Jay Liet, that's forever, man. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Jay Liet's been here forever. Thank you, Jay Liet. Frail wimp. Yeah, might just die. Alright, the next raid is here. Got smithing done. Let's grab electricity. Kruger, for God's sake. We we're so unlucky with, with this. Mushrooms will be in real soon. We're we going, Noah. Do I bring in something else? All right, cool. Okay. So hopefully we get a pawn reward. We're going to do this right after this wave. Um, and we, we need to get to the point where we can get a barrel pretty soon. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to do the 5% at that time yet. Yep, not used to trying that. Not used to doing that. I think that'll get hot enough. Yeah, that will. For sure. For sure. Div, getting some construction experience there. Good job, Div. Way to go. Ooh. 
Bolt goods. I think we might want to... Oh, it's bolt goods, never mind. I was going to say, we might want to go ahead and get a barrel already with the money that we have, but... I was thinking weapons. Weapons, even. Yeah. I don't think we have anyone that's super good at trading either. Pawn joins, yes. Slow learner aesthetic. Ugh. Aesthetic's fine. Slow learner. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Bulguns can have barrels too. I remember they removed. So when um, ideology first came out, or when 1.3 first came out, and um, the changes went through with the mortars, like everyone had barrels, right? So like any passerby would have multiple barrels on them. I remember them changing something to do with that. For some reason I was thinking uh, bolt goods also. I believe you are right. Hey, we have someone that can actually trade. Not bad. Not bad case, dude. Slow learner sucks, but you know. Is what it is. Okay, let's get this done. Come on, join. Pretty much guarantee even a random group of visitors will have at least a barrel on them. Yeah, it was really, really silly. We just have like a random traveler, one of the one traveler passing through, and they drop like four barrels, it's like. like that? I thought they fixed it. I thought someone told me they fixed it. Good to know that they have not. Day nine treatment? Oh lord, yeah. Actually, not gonna grow drugs there yet. Bailing towards electricity here. So, plants grow 1.3 speed on Winston, which I didn't know until now. That actually means that daylilies are not as good as uh, they typically are. Because daylilies already uh, grow relatively fast. You have to replant them often for beauty, so. Oh, I keep forgetting, yeah. I just, I just keep forgetting to do it because I'm so used to just not calling early. I just gotta get in the habit of doing it. My bad. Was it lost so far? Yeah. Also forgot to uh, get the traders where they left too. So I'm like rushing for a bunch of other crap. Yeah. That does come back to bite me. But it could. Weaken the next wave, pawn joins. We want pawn join. 50% weaken on wave four doesn't really do us much good. Lion. 
jealous, great memory, psychopath, alcohol addiction. Ugh. Why couldn't it be psych height addiction? No, no, welcome in. Get you a bed. Okay. All right, uh, were you natural rotation? Yep. Pretty lucky on the natural meditations, though. Next is a uh, breacher boss wave. We don't really have uh, good weapons yet either, so we're just gonna have to. So it happens. Take the legs. Uh, what a questionable lion, yeah. Uh, two breachers, one berserker. Spin two, one hunter. Okay. A few of these came with some just basic weapons, at least. Have the same win condition as a standard world playthrough? Yeah, I mean, you could definitely get to the credits. I mean, maybe <laughs> you could get to the credits, but yeah, the credits do still exist. As far as we know. Um, let's see. Steel Equa. Equa. I think that's the only death that I know of. Super Archinectus cheese to win? Probably, yeah. Just do it on peaceful. <laughs> what sucks is we don't know what the modifier is on this. Our character not sleep until he breaks down before he gets to leave. They were supposed to fix things like that, Zeros. Um, the best you can do is put the caravan spot where they pack closer to where they're loading. Yeah, they were supposed to make it so that that is less likely to happen. So if you're playing on 1.3 and it's still happening, the only thing you can really do outside of mods is put um, yeah, put the caravan packing area closer. Hey, side casting, look at that. Careful with that on that. Please. Our first side cast. Stun. Stun. Please, Winston Waste. Not chunk skip. Stun. Stun. <laughs> Stun. So it's to have a raid cap. Kinda. 25,000 raid points, but then it can roll boss modifiers after that, from what I understand. Stun. Stun. Solar pinhole. At least it's something usable. Okay, be careful. All right, no more, no more mood hits. Mur, no more mur, mur. What does it do? It basically creates a uh, tor torch for like five days. So the, um, this light point that we were able to cast, it produces a little bit of heat and light. It's basically a torch, yeah. It's basically a torch. Solar pinhole is basically a torch. Five day torch that doesn't take any materials, pretty much. Yeah, it's really hard to get anything done with them. Getting raided every single day is really crazy. It's really nuts. Igor map against Winston. I didn't want to, yeah, I might, you know. I definitely didn't want to like use the same map to win against every modded storyteller we play against, you know, but it's tempting. Delay it somehow. You can delay it with a reward or you can delay it in the mod settings. It's 
Sometimes you'll get a reward that is a delay. Yeah, there's no kiting room on the Igor map at all, yeah. That is true. Three hours. Let's see what they roll with. Hopefully they're ninjas, because that doesn't really matter. Sneeze Empire rank and a bit of combat. Yeah, and you'd have to obviously um, build a throne room in a. Call it really, call it really. There we go. They don't have the 150%. I don't know how we check if they have double health or whatever. They're not invisible. No idea. They don't have bionics, right? No idea. No idea what their special thing is. Guess we're about to find out. The difference to the side cast you get? No, it doesn't. I think it's to do with the grass. It's a leftover afterwards. As I understand it, anyway. Got your axe. Every raids closed off? Do they come with reachers more often? No. No, the type of raids are not um, based on any of that, you know. God, I hate that they keep preaching like that. Finding one with damage to a body part. They went... I don't think they're double but Left hand... What is left hand's usual HP? This one has 20. Come on. All right, it's so next one, five tribals. I don't know what their thing was. Was it double health? So it was double health, okay. They're not bad, I just don't know if we have enough time to ever do any of that. Who's our doctor anyway? I think this guy's dead. This one's our other way. I mean, if we get word of trust off one of these, then sure we can get him, but. Again, 20 is normal health for a hand, so I don't know what their bonus was then. They weren't bionic yet, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Their special was that they had nothing special about them. <laughs> they fooled us. They even fooled me. As Putin lives. Let's go, Nibernai. Could have just been extra raid points or something. Yeah, that's true.
could just smooth it, but I think that'll take longer than just building. We are up to 10 anima grass. Okay. Mood's looking good. Does is no good to build this where you have the Molotov anyway, so. We're gonna mainly let them uh, research. Hopefully we can get some wave delays. Guys, they got minus 35 from alcohol. Minus 35. The friendship, they shared. Bullet sponge. Oh, it could have been an extra armor, yeah. Yeah, I didn't check that. That's also true. Paper shuffling time. Yep, yep. Oh, I forgot it again. I guess I'm doing 4X. It's also part of it. That's uh, three I forgot to do. <laughs> Attack immediately. Okay. made meals. It's surprising. Stalling strands are evolving, yeah. Little by little. Panthers. Will they keep it? Apparently not. Yeah, Craves. Apparently not. Uh, I didn't know that until today, but someone was looking through the code earlier and let me know that if you take one of the pawns that have, like, some kind of special on them from the waves, they, get, they don't have them anymore. Why don't you just kill them? Because I want the waves to last as long as possible. Because you get so little time between waves, the more time I have for anyone, even a single person, to research during this, the better. Because these scale so fast. This is number eight. This storyteller uh, wave thing scales so fast. Panther's going to kill them anyway, though. That sucks. It didn't hit. I was hoping it hit geothermal, but well, it actually didn't hit anything that we wanted. So it's unfortunate. Uh, next, there's gonna be a grenadier, so this one might be a little tricky. A little tricky. Let's see, sandstone. Okay. 
Just wait. Just really need people researching. Our modest fellowship expands. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on a second. What? I don't think I've ever seen a predator kill another predator like that. And it, it, neither of them were tamed or anything. Uh, Talric, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Talric. Thal or Tal? I was saying Tal. That's so weird. I have no idea why that happened. <laughs> And a little break, berserk. That's odd. It insulted the other panther, yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. Mad, mad panther. No, it's, it's it hasn't even eaten it. Oh, it, yes, it ate its head, bit its head off. <laughs> but weird, they usually don't hunt other. Yeah, it's so odd. A panther eat panther world out there. Weird. Never seen that. Three and a half thousand hours, never seen that. Come on, come on. Low food, yeah. We're fine. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who's this person I am appreciative of? Azrael, 10 months, the double digits. Still lurking. Thank you, Azrael. Appreciate it. Glad you're still still here, still lurking. He insulted the other Panther's uncle's worth work ethic? Probably. Probably right. His aunt's leg hair. A tribal reality was the random one that spawned with that faction. Yeah, I'll never forget that Igor leg hair fight. Yeah. Fire looking super dirty today. Take that back. Also heard your uncle has bad worth. I forget again. Work ethic. All right. Uh, tag immediately. Okay. He will join us or die, master. So one of them has a. The grenadier has a Molotov. Okay. Well. Bard, they give the gift sub to JF. Thank you, Bard. Let's go on, Bard. Much appreciated. Interesting. So they're just gonna give us free Molotov, hopefully. I might pop out and kill that guy if they split up. It's also look, looking like he's got some flack on that body. Uh, they're going. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Guys, if you could kill the guy with the Molotov for me before you head out, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Hey, hey! Roar, Ro Ro Rari. Nathan is literally trying to light you on fire. Oh, come on, Rory. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Just go stab him. Come on, you got this. Get him. Stab him in his old eye. Oh, you're on fire. Look at you. Uh, Legs Benediction. Thank you for the subscription also. Thank you, Legs. Also very much appreciated. Come on, Rory. How embarrassing for you. Nathan basically soloing these tribals. Holy crap. 
Nathan just absolutely dominating. Just dominating. Kaz and Hole putting down cover fire as Nathan chases them down. Nathan and Nate. Hang on a second. Nathan, Greybeard, Nate, Greybeard. Nate, Nathaniel, Nate Potter. All right. No, no, they're, they're not. They're not brothers. One guy has a bottle. You have a spear in the. I know. Crazy. Pretty embarrassing. This is the one that doesn't come and and, and hit her walls. Toss me a ball, Tom. Brother. Toss me a brother. Where's Nathan? There he is. Nathan, come close to the base. Not you, hole. Friggin' hole. Get hit by lightning. I think it was close. I, didn't, I don't think he got hit. Here for the first time. Came from YouTube. Watched lots of the videos. That's awesome. Thank you for coming over here. Eventually, preparing yourself for this chill game. Uh, it's whatever you want to make of it. Yeah, you can make it a, a chill game. Yeah. Oh my God, Trisha. This is the latest you've ever arrived at a stream. It's like you're not even trying today. Let's go, Trisha. Welcome in. Where's Nathan these days? Nathan, is that you? That's it. Never been here, Trisha. Extra pawn or delay? Pawn joins, all right. Porpoise. Fast learner jogger, Por porpoise. Look at you. Came with a gun. Okay. Right this way, sir. Who is this? Finn. A running porpoise. Another person to uh, build as well. Fantastic. What's your background, Finn? Tribe child. Oh, Finn. Finn, are you addicted to drugs? This is too good to be true. No, he's not. He's not addicted to drugs either. Seems like it'll end because you have very little access to components. Training spot is seven days away. Can't seem to manage sending people to temporary settlements and mining. I'm guessing you haven't reached like deep drilling and ground penetrating scanner yet either. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's really good to try to get to those, I guess, obviously, before, uh, before you mine out all your... Your components and stuff on your own map, yeah. Get this research done. Uh, 5,032, look at that. Over 5,000 people have more than 44 hours in the stream. Crazy. Crazy, I say.
do it. It's going Ryan, molt you It's a lot, yeah. That's a lot. So. All right, we converted that beaver. One hour to a year. Look at that. Tier two, side casting. All right. What do we want for our tier two? I can't really think of anything that I super want. Bot's gonna explode, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, look at all these hours. Thank you guys. Can't get beyond seven pawns and Randy losing his fun. Um, are you using ideology? If you're not using ideology, that will help. If you're using ideology, I would suggest making it so oh, you're all heat dump. Uh, all your um, your festivals are pawn joint events. That helps a lot. It's different than a nerd. Okay, one grenadier on this one too. Hopefully it's not an actual um, frag grenade person. Hopefully it's just like last time. Two point three thousand people have more than hundred hours. It's crazy. What is the aim of the game? Uh, it depends. If you're talking about base room world, it's a very open game to make it whatever you want, and not even just with mods. You can play the game any any way that you want, whatever's fun with you or for you. You can do anything from making a peaceful colony builder where you literally are never attacked and you just have fun building pretty bases and and trading and whatnot. Or you can play it on the extreme difficulties like I do, where every moment in the game is basically, uh, or every moment the game is basically trying to kill you. So it just uh, it just depends. Um, whatever you have fun with. The aim of the current run, we are using a storyteller that um, makes it so we are hit with waves of enemies, waves of enemies. So in this run, I am playing on a very hard difficulty without pause, and I'm trying to survive as many waves as we can before it overpowers and kills me. It's a story generator, if you want it to be. Uh, that's what Tynan says it is. What ideologies do you recommend for new players? So you can go with the low impact ones, but if you're looking for a good one to try out that's strong and um, doesn't have a lot of requirements as far as mood and things like that, then you can go with like Tunnler. Tunnler is a very strong one, even though it, it's listed as a high impact. Look at that, Molotov again. Uh, so Tunneler is actually a, a good one to go up into. Transhumanist is also pretty fun, but they're very, very needy. Tag immediately, okay. But things like um, my my real thing, or my... I think you should do Fluid first. Fluid was added after Ideology, but it's, it's very good. So Fluid uh, allows you to, like, develop your Ideology as you go and decide what you do going forward, and then you're not locked into it either so you can earn more points like let's say you go cannibalism and you're a fluid ideology you can be like you know what i don't really like the cannibalism thing and i i don't want to keep having to give my people uh worry about giving my people human meat and whatnot so i wish i didn't take that with with fluid during your playthrough you can actually use development points to get rid of it so fluid is really nice but if you're looking for some really strong ones that aren't high impact human primacy is probably the strong one of the strongest Human Primacy and Supremacy are two of the very strongest. How many mountain base? Dead. Um, 2x raid point breach raid. I also have a bunch of playthroughs that are unmodded up on um, YouTube of different ideologies, and I have some guides and stuff up on there. So here's the link to that if you ever want to check that out. Um, There's some on there with royalty uh, focuses, ideology focuses, and uh, even a full playthrough of fluid ideology. There's a link to that. I have a bunch of guides too. I see to wine. So the trick to transhumanist, I have a full transhumanist playthrough up as well, is there are break points in the game. There's not a lot of things like this in the game, but there are break points in the game that people become more needy and they're very like specific break points. And I think I'm gonna take this guy's Molotov. 
One of them is 81,000. For, um... Oh, it's Recruit! The guy's attacking us. At 81,000 wealth, you can look at your wealth by going into the menu here. At 81,000 wealth, transhumanists suddenly need a lot more stuff. How much I'm risking is this friggin' Molotov. Oh, I shouldn't have went out in the rain. Recruit would be amazing to get to. He's a really, really good pawn. We could just make our own friggin' Molotovs. Shouldn't have risked that. With the slow opening doors right now, it was pretty uh, pretty risky. Rain, bad shots, so. <laughs> oh, for the YouTube comments? Oh my God, I have a folder with a bunch of them saved, yeah. I should put them uh, like up on a website, up on the website, yeah. I already have the cloth and the chem fuel we can make pretty quickly. I could have already gotten to it, but I'm trying to uh, do something that might bite me in the butt and get uh, geothermal first, which is not what I typically do in these runs, but I'm trying it. Let's go, Vinny. Sorry, pawns. Yeah, I did, yeah, so that I'd be able to see them easily. Yep. Get that double wall one block at a time, yeah. <laughs> back I could jump in with melee it's a normal pump shotgun he's got a poor flak vest there's no door really close by though Spanning in the future, streaming on YouTube, Mixer, OnlyFans. Uh, I have a exclusivity clause in my contract. Can't stream anywhere else. That's right. I see that. Major break on. No, no. Oh, he's the one that's an alcoholic. Yeah. Like some Molotov guy, he went pretty far away. He's already got an infection. He might go down soon. He's at 78%. Oh, there he went. All right, free Molotov. It's the only reason I don't have... Uh, have you not used the command? <gasps> no, I was... Not paying attention. We might end up getting recruited out of this. Talking about friggin' streaming on OnlyFans. Cam plus is cam plus, but you have to spell out plus. Okay, 
can't believe I did that. You gotta pay attention to doing the raids, man. Almost lost our best pawn. I don't know what this is gonna be doing. <laughs> Hopefully, does get an infection. Box Raider in. I really could, but I was gonna wait to do any kind of cheesy stuff like that, but. I'm not gonna do it forever. Flu. Oh, God. Bad timing. That's the jungle for you. Just a little bit of time. All right, who all had the flu? Div, okay. Reach health on Div. said it. Coco, the doctor, had it too. die of starvation that's kind of what i was thinking too yeah as soon as he goes down from uh starvation the ra the wave will end it's not even like we can <laughs> drop on him food in there or something <laughs> this is later in the game okay. so who's the other doctor brain damage okay oh man he's got it came with a go juice addiction Seventy six percent consciousness. What ten quality we're going to get here? Seventeen. Wow. Sam, we need you to cook, man. You can we can just let him go. It doesn't really matter. Sam. I see. Very mm. next door in the story wall. Yeah, it's true. I'll hold him in there for a long time. If he would eat, I'm not sure he would though. Since he's already doing the pathing to leave. He has a normal flag vest, yeah. Man, I should have never taken that damage. It really sucks. Just 
Coco is probably gonna have to self tin during some of this. It could have. It's not beating it right now. Uh, they are beating it. Div should really destroy it with priest health, but. Definitely worry about that. I think, man, if he didn't have the go juice addiction, he would be fantastic at it, but he does. We didn't get any go juice dropped or anything, so. The best early game armor. It's basically, it depends on how early you mean, but basically flak vest, button-down shirt, duster or cape, and pants, and whatever the best helmet is you can get. So button-down shirt, duster, or cape, they have the same defensive stats, pants, flak vest, and whatever the best helmet you can get is. How long do addictions last? It depends, yeah, they can last a very long time, though. Wow, this is all garbage. Garbage. <sighs> All right, they are beating the flu. This is the one I'm worried about. He's even with it right now. Div should have no problem. Coco, it might be better off for you to self tin, which is just crazy. But I mean, you still have 88% manipulation. Keep an eye on it. The jungle. Four ones could have something. Yeah, but just, that's the thing. It's always the gamble, right? So it's like we could have gotten a poor Zeus hammer or something. Like a poor Zeus persona hammer, which would have been pretty nice. But odds are we get more like poor auto pistol and a poor bow and stuff. So I need the recruit. He, uh, he died. Yeah. Unless you mean this guy, in which case we're still converting him. We'll see what the tin quality is on this. 4.2, yep. Yeah. All right, no more from you there, brain damage. No more from you, how about it? You're gonna get people killed with your brain damage. <laughs> Charge lands, yeah. Weekend never hits, I would say. Oh, what a mess. Queen Tind again. Seven hours. Six hours. Sphere, I mean, I just probably wouldn't be able to get enough of it on this run. New lovers. Kurt and Sam. Div, man, it had to be flu too. Flu lasts quite a while. All right, let's see what kind of tending we're getting here. Forty-five, yeah, better than better than brain damage is doing with this friggin' addiction. Now, the real question is going to be, let's see what we get on uh, self-tinned with that penalty. So, when compared a person to a log, they became lovers. <laughs> I remember not too long ago, we had a run where someone bragged to someone about their genitals or something. Or no, they complimented their genitals and they became lovers. 20%, okay. All right, well, again, I guess, I guess that's one way to do it, like... You die in glory. Hopefully not, man. Your uh, yours is pretty good too. Heat stroke. That's definitely what we need right now. Some good old fashioned heat stroke. How hot is it? One of three. God. It's 
See, this is all putting us behind is the big thing. Like, even if we survive all this, normal run, sure, we're fine, but... And it's just going to drop conscious more. If our doctor comes unconscious, we're kind of screwed. What's with all these people's addictions, man? Ugh. This is tropical jungle, yeah. Tropical jungle. All right, that'll help a little bit. We could also put these out, but they'll be kind of upset by it. Actually, we can save some wood also by doing this. Solar panel does cause a little bit of light too, but whatever. Div. Three hours on the next one. It looks like it might be a breach. Christ. Yeah, it's gonna be out there for a little while. Yeah, it's an 87. Mountain base, uh, double raid point breacher mechs got, got us in. I feel like I'm pretty behind on this one now. It's really unfortunate. Friggin' flu. Attack immediately. All right, it's not a breach. So, I didn't call it early. We need every minute we can get right now. Um, this time they have a frag grenade though, so that's a G2. And it's really unfortunate about the uh, the flu. I've been pretty lucky, honestly, with, with disease in these runs. Like, it doesn't seem like Winston gives as much disease or something, but it's just uh, really gonna slow us down. Even if everyone survives all the disease, you know. Raiders, as in, we're all on a boat. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and Sigden. Learn tips seem so obvious that they never occur to you. Playing dailies indoors. Have any more tips like that? Um. Also, there's one for uh, for kitchens, for instance. So dirt doesn't get dirty. So dirt to get food poisoning from a dirty cooking area, you need it to be negative two cleanliness or worse. And you can actually just leave your cooking area as a dirt floor, and dirt floor. Uh, does not get to negative two dirtiness. Now, if it gets like ashes or blood or whatever, but it won't track in dirt. So uh, even in late game, sometimes it's good to just have dirt floor where you cook your food. It's another one that's like a not very obvious thing that's uh, you know is, is not very intuitive. But there's a lot of non-intuitive things. Yeah. When, uh, do I start streaming? I start streaming at about 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, which is GMT minus four. Czech Republic. So you're probably, you're probably what? Seven or eight hours ahead of me, I would guess. 
So I probably start in the late evening your time. Okay, they are beating the flu. He's tended to. Minus four, yeah, GMT minus four. Oh. <laughs> Ten PM. Okay. So even further ahead than I thought. I hate them having to micromanage this freaking flu. Enough crap to deal with this storyteller without jungle flu. Chico's probably absolutely sick of being woken up over and over to, to repair and build walls. <laughs> hour clocks all your life really it's interesting um iceland gmt year round that's 8 p.m so yeah gmt minus four yep due to uh like time changes and things like that there are times of the year that my time zone is gmt minus five but at the moment it's minus four really should have used um, Preach Health on Coco. I didn't realize brain damage is going to have such brain damage when it came to healing people. How's it going, by the way? Rosen? What happened to the last run? The other one from earlier today? Or the one that lasted to, to wave 40? The answer is the same either way. Massive raid point breach, uh, mech breach. the same start end dates for the ice like time that's true yep yep not the same dates and then also uh like for instance arizona doesn't observe it at all wish nowhere did honestly but brain damage stupid go juice addiction Yeah, thank goodness. Illinois either. I didn't. Re I didn't realize Illinois. Yeah. All right. Ten and four hours. Ten and eight. And seven. We need an extension, another pawn. I mean, those are the two best ones, obviously, but random normal one. All right. Good luck. Roll the dice. Fuel drop. Well, now we can make our own Molotov, but I mean, we have that one over there, but. Foggy rain. No. No. We should have someone go get that really quick too. Uh, Finn, I'm gonna have you go get it. Mm. 
Next one is 10. It looks like Breacher. Double speed. Double movement speed Breacher. Wow. Saying about doing Lucifer run, want to do this? Have fair carefully. How much Luciferian do you estimate until you can't start getting it yourself? So each pawn is going to need to take Luciferium every 6.6 .6 days. So just figure six days, right? If you want to be on the super safe end and have a little bit of wiggle room for like new pawns and whatnot, you probably want three Luciferium per pawn per season. So it depends on how soon you think you can get out and start going uh, ancient danger diving or complex um, hitting or trading or whatever. I'd figure about three Luciferium per colonist per season should have you pretty well off until you get to that point, yeah. Um, we've had people come in. I'm not saying that's what yours was, most, but we've had people come in and um, post in a language that I'm not familiar with, and I don't know if you're saying anything like negative or not. People have tried to get me to say like things in their language, and it turns out they're trying to get me to say like racial slurs and stuff so yeah if you can you know type in english because me and, and the mods have no idea what's being said so yeah make sure that you're able to reach the drugs yeah 6181 man div is actually not really beating it as the fastest case dude a so. resplendent offering <laughs> Harry Sackrider? Good lord, that's a lot of bits. Harry Sackrider, what a name. Thank you for the 2,750 bits. All aboard the hype train. Alright. Aw, uh, thank you, Harry. Very much appreciated. Like I said, if you want to put in an unbanned request, like at first I just deleted the message, but I feel like I explained it already, so... If you wanted to unban or whatever, just let me know. And, uh, but, yeah, I, I just can't read that, so it doesn't matter. How did that base from yesterday die? The the end of the stream one? Uh, double point mech breach. Where's the L when you do translation? Well, even so, even with someone translating, I mean, it's just something. Salting spree. Oh my god, this freaking guy. Oh, don't accidentally... Oh, right, they're the wimp, too, yeah. Only time you want to know they ever show up. Yeah, it was it was going pretty well, but yeah. And this one I'm just getting behind because these friggin' diseases. So if we lose this one, I'll probably do this map one more time. Hopefully you don't get as unlucky. Double speed breach, man, I mean. Should they be named Smurf? No. <laughs> Sacrifices don't work in this one. Otherwise, yeah. Just love tap to quiet them down. That's right. Stop your insults and bullcrap. Yeah, we, we're behind. Like, in a normal run, this would be uh, lots of progress. Like, we're on day 20. We just passed day 20, and look at what we all what we have done. I feel so far behind. So I should have double this. The early infestation, yeah, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, that did suck. You know what? I need you to stop cooking until you're over your brain damage. How about that? The animatree strategy? Uh, yeah, it actually just came out today. Brand new guide about the animatree. There it is. That answers all those questions. Because it's one of the things I've been asked about a lot, so I finally made a uh, made a guide about it. Put it up today. <laughs> yeah, so.
Well, I'll stay She? No, L is a... L is a male. L has corrected me before, so... What is the behind? It's kind of ridiculous. It really is, yeah. And look at the fluid run. Oh, you know. I didn't know if you knew or not. Oh, this friggin' disease. Well, case dude's almost over it, at least. What a mess. Already solved on YouTube. <laughs> what? Uh, very high raid point mech breach befell the colony. Base and range of defense. Does that help with aim? In case of night raid, it does not help with aim. It helps with mood, but not with aim. It helps with mood and movement. So they actually removed light mattering for aim outside of the darkness meme and precept back in pre 1.0 and beta. They removed that. However, it does help with mood and movement. So I do like lighting the place where my pawns are standing and keep the place where the enemy is dark. Igor map. Uh, I need room to kite. Igor map has no kiting room. It's just the disease. It's, yeah. it's really screwed me over here. we can survive this breach, we might claw our way back. How long until we can start using our festivals again? I'm getting there. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the Kitchen sub. sink. Maybe use the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Kitchen Sink. Count same as a tier one. Yeah, I I can use the um Igor map for a mountain base. Um if we wanted, but I I need room to kite if I'm not doing a mountain base. So that's the only way I'm gonna be late game. We're broke and piggy toe. Yeah, that is realistic. Yeah. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Finn, they were using the Twitch Prime here also. Thank you, Finn. Finn, I've never told anyone this, but. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the Why didn't play sub. that twice? Uh, thank you, Finn. Twice. You even shows it in chat twice. I've never told anyone this, but it counts the same as a tier one subscription. Thank you. I appreciate you using it here. Oh boy. Let you search for good seeds, map locations. I've used some to search for that kind of stuff before. The unfortunate thing is one of my criteria for best maps is also anima tree placement. I mean, obviously you can use a mod to move the anima tree or whatever, but the map preview mods and the map search mods and stuff like that, I've never seen one that also can show you Your where the anima tree will be loyalty is without going on the map. Unless like the map preview thing has been updated since last time I used it. Coco, uh, Coco's gonna be fine. Don't worry about him. This is gonna be scary. Do you have one that writes a bunch of PNGs to a directory? That's you. That's interesting. Yeah. What's the name of that one? It's one of your criteria as well. Double speed breachers. All right. This could really screw us. We have like, we're going to be. Then why does notice you? Enjoy your complimentary waifu. We don't have a lot of firepower, and uh, we're going to have even worse because of the rain. Oh, really? That's pretty interesting, yeah. Big word, sugar raids, such a game. I don't like those, yeah. Because usually when I'm playing, I'm trying to do some specific challenge, and that would just either make it easier than I want it to or harder than I want it to. It wouldn't be really indicative of, of the challenge I'm trying to do, you know? This might be the end of this one already. Wow, brain damage.
Delay next wave for seven days. Oh, we need that. Jeez. Boy, we needed that. All right. Well, that can bring us back on like uh, level playing fields. Thank goodness. Easiest decision of my life. Thank goodness. What kind of wave defense it is, yeah. It's called Winston Waves, yep. Looks like the next one. Oh, they're gonna have bionics, yeah. Uh it's not bad though. There's only gonna be five, so we'll uh we can get a lot done in these days. And more importantly, we can get over all the crap, the elements and stuff that are uh dragging us down right now. Alright, alright. Coco's over that. We're almost over all the flus. Fantastic. You call bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We're back in it. All right. It's not being ignored. I am literally now going back over. I know you're joking, but uh, people joke about it quite a bit when like crazy stuff is going on in this. And recently, because there's so much of it, we're like, look at this big shot streamer. Can't even thank people for subscriptions anymore. But no, I always get back over to it. I just can't like let a run die. Stop that second. So, uh, Scott, <laughs> they were the six months. <laughs> I do appreciate it still. Uh oh, beer. Beer. All right. Rescue Nuno. Yeah, uh, he needed to save, but I already went through to make sure they weren't bleeding. So I was doing triage. All right, Sam, I need to make some meals. I still, I, they were, yeah, they were down, but not dying yet. Look at the streamer, look at the chat, let the run die. I almost did that earlier, yeah. Actually. Okay. God, are we glad you're over this friggin' addiction. How long it... How long until we can do this again? We'll be able to do these right towards the end as well. That's also a pretty easy wave. Well, that refreshed the alcohol addiction, yeah. I know they ignore those rules, but whatever. Yeah, like earlier when I was talking about OnlyFans, yeah. It's like, have you used my OnlyFans command? When you were talking to chat and just watch some Scyther come up and murder upon. Cause you, oh yeah, yeah. That one I did on purpose. Yeah, when I was like, I, well, I was like stunned because I was like, I wonder what Scythers do with double damage. <laughs> Let's just watch him wreck this guy. All right. Everyone survived the flu. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay. Research is almost done. How are we doing on steel? Any more? Chat, yeah, things real good. On your front, front page, you're going to be channels right now. That's awesome. Well, it was the case forever. Yeah, so what do they do? Pretty much what you'd expect. Yeah, they absolutely wreck people if they don't on top of them. Well, you know. Imagine I get an infestation over here. Wouldn't that friggin' suck? Tier 3 on Anima Tree as well. Very good. How's Beaver doing on his conversion? Oh, he's almost there. He's almost there. The two shots of cause, yeah. It's pretty strong, it turns out. 
Who who knew? Everyone. Every, literally everyone knew that. I can also send someone out to trade. All this human leather we're getting. Okay. Geothermal! Oh my lord. Did you look at that? Uh, so we want to get machining. Geothermal on a Winston Waves run as tribal. <sighs> Man. Okay. Side who links to the animatory, do you try to get everyone to at least one level first? No, because the high tiers are so, so good that I try to get to the higher tiers first. So, like, for instance, in this run, if we get uh, Berserk Pulse, it can literally just win some uh, raids for us. And Berserk Pulse uh, is a tier 6. Same thing with, like, you know, Farscape is incredibly valuable. Uh, Neuroquake would be amazing on this run. It's also a tier 6. Tier 4 is when things get start getting really interesting, and you can also start getting things up there like Skip and um, uh, Word Inspiration. and yeah. So I, I usually go one at a time. Now, there is a caveat to that. Sometimes I will um, get a lot of people at level 1 in a, in a normal run if I'm, like, searching for... Um, where to trust or something like that. But usually I, yeah, I go for tier six. We have a magic run. I don't know. Yeah, people have been asking. Next week, I'm going to do a back to vanilla kind of 500% no pause run for the people that are coming in from the console release. Anyone that didn't hear, uh, RimWorld is releasing on console next week, next uh, Thursday or something like that. Jump skip. <laughs> Call and just compared one of their issues to RimWorld. Really? <laughs> Am I going to try the console version? I don't know. I really hate controller. Controller mouse, I'll, I'll call it. Maybe. Jump was censored for you on Twitch for some reason? That's weird. So we need to get someone out uh, at some point that can get back with a barrel in time. Or not. <laughs> War Merchant. Wait, is it tribal? It's tribal, isn't it? Yeah. No pause would be so hard too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'll look at it, but I don't, I don't know. Use keyboard and mouse console. Yeah. I mean, if you want to buy the adapter and crap like that for like PlayStation 4, you could, but then yeah, what's the point? I want to play RimWorld, but I want to do it with a worse UI. And no moths. Imagine RimWorld with no P music. I have to just have P music playing in the background of the stream or something. For the lols. So does that make sense? They are putting it on the Steam Deck as well. Yeah, it'll be on console next Thursday. This was plug and play for mouse keyboard now, really. Are they still sell adapters? So that's that's interesting. With a dance pad. 
Wins to a record, uh, wave 40, day 95 or something like that. On 5% no pause. We don't really have much more marble. Nearby. Screw it. Uh, Rumor all the dance for that. Yeah, good lord. A gift? Where'd you leave us? Wow, steel knife. Thank you so much. I am so happy with that knife. Okay. Can have lights. Finally get a uh, electric stove, which would be nice. And we need to get machining done. The console UI. Yeah, I watched the the video of it yesterday. It's going black. In the train, talking about human meat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Child on it, yeah. Yeah. Girl. Girl. Okay. Go you iron your pants. Distant worlds. Oh, yeah. I think you mentioned that. Okay, let's get these over there. There's some benefit in keeping both stoves that I'm not gonna worry about right now. How bright that is compared to torches, jeez. Okay. So I need to send someone off to get a barrel. Case dude, what are you doing? Mining? Okay, case dude is gonna be going and getting a barrel. Neutral. 1.3 days? I mean, it's gonna take less than that with a mount. 1.1, there we go. Okay, take Yuma. Case dude. Uh, we need to save some of that cloth. Okay. Road case dude. Come back with some good stuff, please. Panda's unknown. This is the first time we've had refugees on one of these runs. They can get so much work done for us, but if they betray us, we might have a bad time. And they're just bot they're just bodies. They're just bodies. They're probably gonna hate fungus, unfortunately. I think we have to take that though. Uh four days. Let's get their own little place set up. No, I did that before. I mean, it worked all right before, but 10 refugees. Good Lord. I think I got to take it, though. Imagine how much research and stuff we get done with them here. Do we have the food? I mean, they'll pro like I said, they'll probably hate fungus, but we can get so much research and stuff done. I literally can just put them on 
research. I can send them into a wave, you know? They're just completely expendable. And if there's any of them that are super good, we can uh, forcibly recruit them. Die valiantly in battle, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it. 10? Well, same amount as pawns that we have. Be happy it's not fungus paste, that's right. My lover recruit died. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it failed, of course. Of course. Mood's pretty bad right now. Is prisoner ready? Start breaking them now. Man, mood is at a really like an all-time low. What's the quality in here? Oh, it's now me high. Yeah. Alright. That's what's going on. Dude, look at him flying on that road on that horse. Cargo pods. What is this? 197 dog leather. All right. All right, Case Dude, we're looking. Oh, well, he's, he almost made it. Folks would trade you because you had them in an empty area of the base in the mountain, letting them dig out. Just let stuff on fire and kill themselves. Usually, what I do is I make them. I, I give them all crappy weapons. Like, I have them all hold a piece of wood. And then I make them their own section, yeah. That way if they do wake up and betray me, they're so terrible at combat with their wood that we just destroy them. But in this case, we don't have very good uh, stuff ourselves, so. There's some dog leather here. Yeah. I, I didn't produce the dog leather this time. This time. This time. That's right. That's right. The deserter is available too. I don't know. I really regretted betraying the Empire last time. They almost killed us. All right. Gonna get both barrels and then I do have a marine helmet. Dessert pole so look at that. Locust armor. Okay, we'll get the marine helmet. All right, case dude. Oh, the mountain base, uh, double raid point breachers.
All right. Let's accept it. Hopefully this isn't the uh, the downside of us. Recipe box, does that make it so flowers have to eat? That's what I, yeah, I was talking about that earlier that uh, knowing that it might be better to just get to flooring faster. So yeah, I think so. Or I, I would assume so, I guess. You know what they say about assuming. Hey, they're cannibals, at least. food yeah yeah i know record wave 40 40 you can do uh exhibition record whatever you need to your lover died 21 days come on man just get over it it's fine i never really loved you anyway trust me they told me once Dude, <laughs> roping, eat him in, and we're gonna desk job. Yeah, let's go, Merc. Get that research done. 12 research benches. We still have someone idle. Is that the one that can't research? I think so. Look at that research bar going. Machining done. Um, Gunsmith thing. start working on this too for some uh, future waves we got mainly sandstone coming in at the moment okay all right all those refugees we start on the charity run is pure gold so in the mountain base, uh, double size breach mix. So I, I don't know. I only compete with myself, so. I only compete with myself. I'm having a shame. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. Chain. So wait nine days. It went faster than I would have liked. Is no. James for a good guy run? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Exploring the barracks. Uh, or is that just natural stone floors? Uh, that's neither. No, that's just a zone. There's no flooring in there yet. No flooring in there yet. New help. Yeah, I actually don't want to use it on this, though. Workers' right violation. Uh, if you had any refugee quests, that's what we have right now. Yes, this is the first one. Get it. Give them all sticks, yeah. It's very generous of me. Wait, wasn't it Div that was upset about or dead lover or something. Now it's just gone, even though the the thing failed on them. Maybe I was maybe I misread it and it didn't fail. It's a lot of wood. Panic! Try to panic! Stop trying to convert my people. Only we are allowed to convert others. I'm not going to use the anime tree grass right now. I have too much other stuff to do, especially while all these people are here. Good. Yeah, we're going to get the burn tunnel done. I don't think I'm going to use it in this next uh, attack anyway, but it'll be done. The main thing is getting this research done while these guys are here. They betray us, we might be screwed. So we don't have very good combat stuff yet. We shall see. I thought this run was going to, I mean, it could still die at any time, but until we got that seven day delay, I really thought this run was done. We'd gotten so far behind. Now look at us. Look at us. Through some uh, forced labor, we are back on track. Okay. Making the fences first in the burn box. So much faster yes so they don't have to zigzag yeah 
Yeah, it's a it's a nice little thing to do. And also the roof. Put the roof on first. And then when I try to do the when I do the wall, you'll notice I leave a, uh, a gap in all the walls at first so they can get in there. Yeah. That's just become a habit over time that I don't really talk about. I probably should mention it. Go juice. Are you almost over it? 70%. 70%. Competent cook. One point three days. Okay. Uh, is the rest of the barracks on the roof? I thought I said it. You're right. Yeah, it is. I wonder why it is though. Did I initially set that to not be roofed? They should have automatically done it. Yeah, good catch, thank you. Weird. Let's see the alcohol withdrawal and murder keeping them. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's going savage, welcome in. It's really crazy. Major break risk, come on, no, 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 no. Mine is 35, jeez. They're 85%, you're almost over it. Watch these raiders show up and drop some beer, that's what usually happens. Uh, all right, we can make mortars, which is fantastic. All right. Can always move this later. This ends up being a siege. I guess if it does, we have the the refugee squad, huh? Comes down to it. Look at that, man. We were just pumping this stuff out. Oh, we're almost to the point where we can, you know what? Yeah, okay. I know the research is going crazy, man. It's, all, it's awesome. It's really awesome. Where are we going now? Uh, 11 on this run. Right there. Tribals can't siege. It, they... It all is different with this storyteller. We've had tribals show up with doomsday rockets. We've had, we had on our very first attempt, we had a tribal raid with all charge rifles. So nothing seems to be out of the question when it comes to uh, the storyteller, unfortunately. We had a mixed raid one time where like, they had they raided multiple strategies at once. It's just really bizarre. They were all bio-coded if anyone's curious, kind of sucked. But. actually need to bang out microelectronics. I think I'm gonna do that first. We really need EMP. Bot's been lagging today, I don't know. So it might just not work for you. Lancers with chain shotguns, we haven't seen anything like that yet. All melee mech raid centipede.
<laughs> Zeus hammer stabbing <laughs> Needle gun tribals, yeah, that would be that be. Oh my god, someone had a beer on them. Well, that reset that. Insects and inferno cannons, yeah. Nothing that crazy's happened yet, luckily. All right, here we go. Look at these, uh, tribals. Look at that. <laughs> Wonder how fast they can break down walls, man. Oh, it's just attacking immediately, okay. He is actually taking it down faster than I thought. Thick tribals there. Freaking button. Why is it It's part of the. Um, they're all that. It's a. It has a modifier that rolled with where they all have all bionic body parts. Just one of the challenge parts of this uh, modded storytelling. I didn't know. They explode, yeah. We tried it. They have a modded uh, death acidifier that even if they're not dead and you try to move them. Man, the friggin' jungle. Um, Shiko. We have two of our own that got it. Okay. And draw stays bionic, but walls are open in the south. I don't see any openings down there. I play there, billions. I did. Yep. There's a. I have a full playthrough. Hardest difficulty. No pause. Of that up as well. Uh, let's see. Might have a link to it. There it is. The Marvel one's been... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's afraid for a second. Not already died yet. Delay. 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 Yeah, no problem. Uh, two random tamed animals. They don't... So, they, they come already owned by you, but they don't come with, like, all their training done. Medicine. Steel. I mean, we could get lucky with this, though. We could literally get, like, thrombos. We did have that one time. We do have a little bit of medicine already from Malaria. But that would that would go pretty quick. I think I'm going to take these and roll the dice on this one. Down enemy to prevent the Citifier. It seems like as soon as they are put down again, it happens. Yeah, I don't know. I can try that, but no, I have not tried that exactly. The downside is to building your tire base out of five marble bricks. No, no downside if you... Uh, you don't care about wealth. All right, let's let's roll it. What we got. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
Do we even have anyone that can save them? <laughs> Drumbo and a cougar, man. That's so that's so good. We don't have anyone. <laughs> we have no one that can do it other than the uh, the visitors here. Maybe one of them will will want to stay. Uh, Diana Bunger just figured it was the horse. Uh, man. Oh man, man. Visitors tame them, and then maybe we'll get someone else at a later time. Next one is four scythers, our first mech raid. Only four though. We've, we've stalled quite a bit, but there's also going to be a bar orbital bombardment the entire time. Microelectronics almost done. We can get our EMP. We should be all right. Can't throw them. No, they made it so Thrombos and Beaver no longer eat the anima tree. Luckily. They're probably going to go wild before we get to do anything with them, unfortunately. I think I'm probably going to just let these Scythers hang out for a little while. This is a bigger map than normal. This is a 325. 325 gives us a little bit of uh, breathing room from raids getting to us, you know. Three twenty-five. Wow, we got to microelectronics. These guys are just helping so much. Slaughter for their wild, yeah. I, I want them as pets, but yeah. They could tank so much. But Thermo Fur is pretty good. Alters Anima Tree. Get no meditation bonus from that. That's not true, no. I I have a guide that came out today about the Anima Tree. You can go watch it, but uh, there's the guide. Uh, that's not true, yeah. It caps out at minus 30%. I can show you here. Minus 30%. The only time you won't get anima grass at the anima tree is if someone with not um, natural meditation is meditating at it. They changed that uh, quite a long time ago. Yeah. Anyway, there's the guide. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's uh, a lot of people ask, so you're not the only one, Winley, at all. And that's why I decided to go ahead and make that guide because I was explaining it on the stream uh, like a lot, like fairly often. So I decided to finally make a guide about it. Your guides have like no views. <laughs> Pineapple, yeah. You put out a lot, I know. Pack of 57 manhunting tortoises in seven hours. But I want to delay this, so... Wait, what was the other... What are they? Rice, begs for safety another pawn right so we should probably do it so discouraging we should probably do it Oh my god, what if an orbital bombardment or something hits the anima tree? Alright, Rice. He's not in ours. Slow learner, tortured artist. <laughs> They're so bad. 
All right, I'm not going to name anyone after this. There's He's got social. All right, we got a mule. We got a mule. We got to convert him. So we're super bigoted. Uh why would you say that and that'll happen? Oh man. Oh god, I'm supposed to switch over to my bounty already. Can you get in the base? I thought I left one door open. Did I not leave one open? See, let's get into the wooden area where the wall is. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> yeah, after this wave, I need to switch over to the bouncy before I forget. Yeah, I have to do it today. Here they come. Open base is easier than the mountain base. I think it's going to be easier later game because of the ability to be able to kite. Oh no, Thrombo, you're on a bad side of the base. Hide. All right, there we go. Who wins? Five Scythers or 54 Tortoises? <laughs> oh God. Oh my god, I was watching the fight, you jerk. Leave me alone, I'm trying to watch the fight. Stupid storyteller. Does he know this is a story generator? God, refugees, get out of bed, go put the fire out. Well, the scythers are actually ripping through. I mean, that's what I expected, but... You guys get over there? Okay. One of the scythers is about halfway down. No, they shouldn't. Turtle soup. Five Scythers, 54 Tortoise. Perfect quote for world. There was a fifth one, right? Oh, one of this. The turtles are going to win. The tortoises have it. Okay. Pawn joins. Another natural sanguine. Look at that. Our first shooting specialist, maybe. Chemical fascination. Ugh. All right, let's get you a name. Someone on a fire starting spree or have someone next to them put out the fire. I usually, it, it depends on what else is happening during the game. So if nothing else is happening, like we're not in the middle of a raid and it's not really a big uh, deal, I will just have someone follow them around and put the fires out. Um, because I don't want them to have that mood hit from uh, being arrested back. for a long time, Your you know? Steadfast loyalty yeah, it just, it just depends on the point of the game that I'm in. Next raid. 12 pirates. Okay. Yeah, and also what they're lighting on fire. That's another good point. Um, I might think seven months. <laughs> I was about to say, thank you for like two months or three months or something. I don't know why it just almost come out that way. Maybe the seven months. You can also, yeah, you can beat them and hope you don't kill them on accident. Yeah, that's true. 
Thank you. Very much appreciated. Man, it doesn't feel like that long at all. fill this in. I forgot about bugs. Probably didn't forget about me, though. Talking about that earlier. Don't want uh, another infestation like yesterday happening. You botched it? Three? Oh, right. I didn't set your work. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to... blame you for the thing that I did. You know what? I still will. It's your fault. Six in handling. Almost. Almost there. Well, I am late getting started with a bounty, so as much as I hate to do it, and I'm going to end on this cliffhanger, the stream is not over. But I need to do this sponsored summary of the stream because uh, I am obligated to do so. So let me wrap this up before anything crazy happens. Uh, you, my and uh, I'll tell you about the next time you can see RimWorld excellent. Uh, and about the bounty. But if you hang out, if you leave a viewer count number here in some way, whether you're watching or lurking, uh, it, it really helps out with the bounties. Exclamation bounty will tell you more. Well, let me quit this before anything else happens in the recording. <laughs> lurking for me? Man, we've clawed our way back on that, on that colony. I thought we were dead a long time ago, but uh, we're, yeah, we're getting ahead, man. Those those refugees, I caught. I hope they don't uh, attack us, but we're getting there. I'm cutting corners too, you know. I'm not making a lot of stuff. I'm actually thinking about making it all the way to assault rifles before I, uh, before I start crafting guns. But that's very risky because we need advanced research. So I'm I'm probably gonna hit up SMGs on the way there, but we'll see. All right, let me end this recording here.